story, Donna. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another D&D session of the... F the <coughs> The continent of the free kingdom. Sorry, I had something in my throat. I need to take a sip of water. <laughs> it's food. You probably <laughs> should. Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, there it is. I am your dungeon master. I am your dungeon master for today. And today, we have our group as always. We have uh, Veronica. Hello, de ho. We have Ozius. Awkward wave. <laughs> we have Ilona. Hello, everyone. We have Sam. Hey, guys. Also, you're not logged in. <laughs> I am logged in. It's in, in Roll20? Yeah, of course. It Just... doesn't does say you're there for some reason. Ah. Whatever. Nope, I am there. Neither. Wait, hang on. I'm trying again. Continue! And we have Fordek. Hi. Hi. And last we left off, the group heard about some bandits hiding out somewhere in the plains near Reefton, and they've been ransacking many caravans, which has been a problem for a while for Reefton, and because they don't want to send guards out the whole time, they had... they were... Sort of told to do it themselves. Gee, what a lazy town. I mean, city. I mean, town. Whatever. So, they, they came to the, to the hideout with the help of some knowledge from a dragon, and they decided to, to play tricks with it. At least with the bandits. The Ominous Whispering Chair! The Ominous Whispering Chair. Tell me! <laughs> <laughs> After that horribly failed because they the bandits were alerted before beforehand, they had to get, they went into battle against the bandits, and they came out almost unscathed because the bandits were too drunk to fight back. <laughs> Until someone to set the table on fire. Oh, oh yeah, we do that. <laughs> we do not. Say that was fun. Yeah, <laughs> you almost killed us, Alona. Uh, but I didn't. Only a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, with that taken care of, they got two. They found out that the bandits had two hostages, which they saved, and they have been able to capture two of the bandits on the way. And they're now, and after a long journey ba back, with encountering some orcs, encountering their dragon friends again, they return to Reefton with. One of the hostages went back to the ranch to uh, go back to work or, you know, get over the trauma. And the other one still traveling with them as well as the two bandits. So, with oh that, it's, it's slowly becoming nightfall. And you can see that the guards in front of the main gate are already rotating out for the next shift. And, uh, well, you... You're at the entrance and you see the shifting and uh, you have your prisoners, you have your deluxe charge from Moonraven. <laughs> thanks for the timing. thanks for the sub. That's what you call good timing. <laughs> that was actually good timing. And you have your two prisoners. What what is it you're going to do? Well, I think first off, we should probably approach the guards and tell them we have a delivery. Yeah, we should tell them about the prisoners. Get rid of them first. Yeah. Telegram! So. Singing telegram! <laughs> Singing, Singing chair. telegram! Telegram! Sam. Someone in the hmm. ominous whispering chair. Oh, pl please don't bring that up! Uh, <laughs> an ominous whispering chair. Singogram. No. Oh, for the... Uh... Let's just approach them. Let's just approach them. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. You... Approaching on foot. Uh, <laughs> How boring. So, you all approach the, yeah. the guards? Duh. Very boringly, yeah. yes. <laughs> okay. You see two guards in front of them. They're just your basic human guards. There's nothing really interesting to tell from the first glance. 
And they're standing there, and one of them looks a little bit tired, like he just woke up, and the other one is like, looks a bit uh, not willing to be there. Uh, I approach him and Heads up. ask him a question. We've been hit by a follow by Duskmane, Sol Galeo the Sun. Thanks for the follow! Thanks, Niels. Okay. I know that guy. Okay. <laughs> so, which one do you approach? Uh, you only told us about that one was very tired, not what the other one looks like. The other one didn't want to be there. Looks like he didn't want to be there. The one who doesn't want to be there, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can give me more information. Um, I approach him. He's probably the most aware, anyway. Yeah, that, exactly. And ask him if he knows if Bolverick is still awake. Uh, I'm Bolverick. Hmm. I think he already went to sleep early on. He has to wake up early too. I don't know. What's it again? Hey you! <laughs> uh, uh, what? The other guy slowly wakes up, slowly wakes up again. What? Uh, it's too early for this. Don't you be late. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh. What is what up. is the what is the Captain Bolvrick? So what? So tell me, what is Captain Bolvrick uh, has to get up early for? Uh, well, I don't know. Uh... Oh right, they're expecting a big caravan to come in soon. Oh, okay, well, um, excuse me, gentlemen, we have a delivery. Who can we drop this off to? And the the not sleepy guard, at least the grumpy guard that does want to be there, responds. Deliveries. Just take him to the warehouse you're supposed to take him. Clearly he's uh, not paying bandit. attention. They're bandits. Ooh, warehouse. Oh, your your microphone cut off. <laughs> I could hear what she said, but uh one moment, I need to check for technical difficulties. Technical difficulties! We're in the same house. Have you oh, tried wow. turning it on and off yet? I would preferably do it the other way around. Oh, hush. Makes sense. Oh, oh the MLMs are gone. Oh, okay. Back. Oh, no! <laughs> well, <laughs> do you need any help finding <laughs> them? <laughs> what? Yeah, their Discord was glitched out. So, what were you saying? What I was saying is to the guard, have you not looked at our delivery? Because I think you will want to do, escort this personally to the corresponding warehouse. He lo the guard looks at uh, the at the people there. It's like, uh, what? Are you talking about? He leans into Whisper. Special deliveries? <laughs> wow. What's your name in my I don't even want to know. What's it to Ooh. you? Just curious. Ooh. Just to know if uh, this special delivery is for you. Ooh. Cat. Sorry, there was a cat jumping around. And it's a phone going off because the phone won't shut up. Okay. Uh, uh It's Eric. And I and I'm a lieutenant. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but we've got prisoners. Uh Eric. prisoners. Right, right, right. Yeah, the ones raiding the shipments. Caravan? Oh, those annoying jerks. A private. <laughs> what? Looks like these guys got some bandits. You know, the ones who've been attacking every caravan that they can get their hands on. Uh, really? Oh. Hopefully we can get some better logger in here. <laughs> you and me both. Uh, all right, all right, all right. We'll take him in. It's these two, right? Correct. 
One's tied up, yes. Just, yeah, those. This is nothing kinky, they're just prisoners. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they did not need to hear that, Ozzy. Well. Well, excuse me. And the guards walk okay. over to the bandits and take them away from you. And they're pretty much glad to be away from there from you guys now. It's like, I don't want to be there with these guys. Are there still guards over there guarding the gate? No, th those were the only two guards at the gate, so they left to <laughs> bring them away. Okay, I'll guard there. Jeez. Yeah, I guess me too. Bunch of idiots. I wonder why there's been so many uh, caravan attacks. Can we follow them to the warehouses? Mm -hmm. the warehouses? I'm pretty sure they're going to the prison. Yeah, they're going to the prison. Yeah, there's also oh. Yeah, the corresponding warehouse for a bandit is the prison, love. Oh. Checks out. <laughs> well, Ozzy and me are gonna guard the gate for now, I guess. Okay. Yep. Alright. So you two guard the gate. Over there. Um don't forget about your cobalt friend. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll bring him I'll ask I wanna ask the cobalt where he wants to go and whether we can bring him there. Um let me, let what me was think about Dungaree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dungaree! Or Dung, uh, for short. Hungry, can we get you anywhere? Where would you like to go? Uh, Dungry, not sure. Maybe Mayor's office? But late, okay. so I guess Mayor's office tomorrow? Where to go then? Yeah. Where to sleep? We should probably go to the inn then and get some rest. And some of that beer. They have really good beer here. Okay. So, what? So, let me get this straight. Ozzyus and Fordak are gonna guard till the guards return, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's hope they. And return. the rest and the rest goes uh, to the inn already. Mm, sure. Yeah. Unless you have a better. Does anyone have a better idea? Actually, what yeah, we can I'm do. Also there's still some time left today. Maybe we can do something fun. We can play poker. <laughs> I suppose we could. We could play poker on the roof of a house. <laughs> on the roof? Yeah. Do you really That's want? Right. Do you it's honestly high. want your cards? To... Do you want your cards to be blown away by the wind? Do you see That's the sky? Funny, the, moon and the stars are beautiful. Then we can see the stars. There's no hardly no wind. We'll be fine. We'll just find a flat roof. That just makes it easier for the wind to get to you, love. Let's just find sit out. In the inn and play there. No, I want to. But we can see the stars. Well, we can also keep our boys company while they guard the gate and play poker here. And then I would like to sit on top of the gate and watch the stars. Sure. Can do okay, that. then I'll do that. I'm climbing up the gate. How are you climbing up the gate? Uh oh. <laughs> um, fast? <laughs> that, oh, that, that's not that. what I need to know! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll give um, her a boost. I, oh, no, yeah. <laughs> and what I will do, I, I thought I had a rope in my equipment, did I? Can I <laughs> throw her up the gate? <laughs> yeah, so um, I actually. I have a rope in my equipment, so I will just lasso the rope, like, the top of the gate, and then we'll use it to climb up. You do realize you need something attached to the rope in order to get up there, right? No, because I make a knot in it, and then I just... You want to lasso... So wait, you want to lasso to the top of the gate. Have you checked how long your rope is? Um... Hard? 50 feet. Okay, that can it can reach up there for sure. Okay, but can you throw it that high? I want to try. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to make you have a dexterity throw with disadvantage because you don't know what you're trying to lasso, so you're just throwing for luck. 
Uh, okay. Wait, so... uh, is there um... just a door that goes up since it's a gate? They already got a throw, but you yeah, didn't check. You didn't I check. Go up. You did. Yeah, you didn't check yet. <laughs> no, I will. Oh. Okay, Ozias. Um, you know what? I'm not even gonna perceive it because it's enough to see. You just look, and on the other side of the gate, as in the, the inside, there are some doors, and yes, there are staircases that will lead to the, to the top of the gate. Oh, oops. I'll go up that way. <laughs> I'll still use the rope. Okay, throw with disadvantage! I'm not okay. telling you, so you can just go ahead. Oh. Uh, four. <laughs> disadvantage of four. Four is, is four. You throw the rope up, and it falls down falls instantly. It falls out instantly okay. right in front of you. You did not hit anything. Okay, so I'm, I'm like, okay, this didn't work. So I would like to first now perceive if there's something I can actually throw it on. Is that possible? <laughs> you want to look up yeah. in the dark to, per to, for to perceive if you see something. Okay, yes. have a perception check. I'm going to rush up. <laughs> 16! You see on top, of the, on top of the gate a few, um, let's say, triangles that look like points, you know, typical uh, tower designs. You see those, you can clearly get the rope around it, and you also see a flagpole hanging uh, from the side that has been rolled in. There's only, there's only a flagpole, there's no flag on it. Oh, I will use the flagpole. We'll try to use it. Like... You're gonna try to loss the, no, the flagpole. I... Okay. Oh. No, I'm gonna, no, 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 oh, that's true. Um, I'm gonna use one of the triangles, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can aim for no, the triangles. Dexterity. Roll yeah. for the oh dexter goodness. dexterity check. 19! You throw the rope and it indeed hit one of the the so-called triangle uh, decorations. I'll just call them triangle decorations, if not because I don't know the word of it. I know mm -hmm. what you mean, these weird when you're at the wall and there are these Yeah. Tick 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 tick. Yeah, you know that. And, you know and, you, and it goes around it successfully. I'm climbing up. Okay, climbing. Um, that's an acrobatics check. Because you are climbing up a rope vertically with not much uh, hold fast. 13. I called him Brozest. Ah, thank you. So, you climb up slowly and it it is very tough for you because it's a vertical climb. You not really are not built to do this, but Somehow you barely make it to the top. Yay. And okay, so I'm at the up, top. I, I guess I'm and just standing the there side. waving. Yeah. And eventually, <laughs> when you think like, your head over the top, you see Ozzy's waving like, "Hi." Oh, hey, Ozzy. Are you also watching the stars? <laughs> no. <laughs> I will. I was watching an idiot climb. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, which one? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm really content I got up and I'm watching the stars. <laughs> I'll just go down and guard again. <laughs> you just don't. Hey, did you see the notice the turtle go down some stairs back to guarding? And you're like, oh, they're stairs. That's smart. I'll use them to get down. <laughs> okay, oh, and I will down the use stairs the stairs here. to go up. Uh, yeah, using the stairs to go up, uh, down takes longer than just jumping down. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am taking my robe it's through true. and I'm putting it back in my bag. Good. Okay. <laughs> so you get to watch the stars from the top from top of the gate towers, and uh, there are a few clouds, but it's mostly clear. No. Okay. Anyone else has something to do or say? Yes. Ah. I am walking up the stairs and I'm going to sit next to Ilona and we are going to play poker. Do we have any interest? Where's Dungri currently? Dungri's with you guys. Dungri's just <laughs> waiting to see what you're going to do. Okay. Dungri, are you coming with us to play poker? Does anyone have any cards? By the way. You put that I, know you. First. I, cards. I know one person that has cards. Well, we can play with invisible cards. Oh! 
gamble for the cards. We can play with the dragon skills. <laughs> yeah, we don't, don't have a lot of skills for that. Speaking of which, um, I go over to Dungri and because I know that kobolds <clears throat> like dragons very much and that Dungri was very fascinated by the fact that we were friends with a dragon, I hand over one of my dragon, golden dragon scales to Dungri, just as a gift. Because Dungri currently has basically nothing. Dungri looks at the scales like, wow, this, 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 <laughs> speechless. Are you, are you telling me you're what? giving it to them? Yes, I am. That's minus one golden rank scale for me. Yeah. Uh, Dungaree is just really speechless <laughs> and just slowly puts it away before anyone can take it and was the case like, no takey, no takey. That's a gift. You made a very gold, you made a gold very happy. Uh. And rich. <laughs> so, Whatever. with that, I have my stuff to forge. So it takes a while for the girls to come back, and before that, a caravan slowly approaches the gate. Halt! Uh -oh. Halt, okay. I say way too early because I'm not a guard. <laughs> the oh, caravan stops around. Oh, let's just draw it here. Oh, yep, I'm going to rush there. Okay, you rush over. It is a two-horse two horse cart. It's quite a large cart that can carry at least 12 people. And it's full of barrels. And there are two riders on it. One of them is heavily equipped with, with, armor, with heavy armor and a longsword. And, and the other one is just a simple... Uh, Person in simple, in simple clothing, and is clearly the driver. And the uh, one in armor is holding up a torch. Papers, please. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the armor, this. the armor person looks, looks, puts the torch slowly in front of you, and looks, and looks at you. Papers? Yes. Ozzy, <laughs> the... do you even know what you're doing? <laughs> They're merchants. Should have import papers. And the driver goes like, "Oh yeah, the import papers." Uh, he gives the puts the rain down and grabs it, grabs it back and looks for it. Mm, that's the no, that's passport. That's for that. Ah! He grabs up a document and hands it hands it towards you. Interesting. As you check it, you learn that indeed, in these are several. Um, was it? Oh, yeah. There is two barrels of fish, several barrels of wheat, as in wheat, not weed. You know <laughs> what you make <laughs> bread with? Get your heads out of your asses. Yeah. And one barrel of minerals, mostly salt. Okay, I count the barrels. Check it with the inventory list. <laughs> okay, there you go. He takes it back, and the armor person, who's, who we can now recognize, is just a, is just a mercenary that went with this caravan. Well, at least they they tidied up the security. I mean, last time I was here, the guard just let anyone pass. Oh my god! I, I laughed nervously. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, that's because I'm not a guard, personally. I'm just standing in for some people who are bringing some people to jail. And left the gate unattended. You can see the driver going, Yep, this is reefed all right. <laughs> Welcome to Reef, we carry on. <laughs> well. You can see both of them rolling their eyes and just chuckle, and then they go off of their cart into the city to deliver their goods. Oops, I drew. I drew. Well, that explains Oops. how everything is such a mess around here. Oops, I accidentally deleted Ozzy's. Give me a moment. Yep, I'll get myself <laughs> back. <laughs> the great oh. Ozzy's deleting incident. So, the caravan just goes off, doesn't see, and, uh, yeah. And about five minutes later, finally the guards show up. 
And the tired one... <laughs> and the tired one looks a bit... looks more awake, but um, has a little bit of uh, red on his cheeks. Oh dear. Mm. Oh god. Is that blood? No, I think he's been drinking. I think they were the oh, that's fine. very happy about the bandits being gone. It's fine. <laughs> you see the two, it's like, oh, the grumpy one looks like, oh, you guys still here, eh? Yes. Um, yeah. Lieutenant Eric, um, there was a, a, a cart. Papers seemed fine. They had a couple of barrels of fish, wheat, and salt. Ah, uh, food supplies. Mm, that's yeah. nice. They were really surprised they were getting checked. Not a word. <laughs> and you can see the <laughs> sleepy guy going, <laughs> Oh, paperwork. I've, I do not like paperwork. I like it. Well, anyway, since, since we're done here, shall we go to the inn? Yes. Yes. Now we can finally drink instead of someone on duty. And he just works uh, on. Let's drink. All right, and I might just have something to pass the time while we're at the inn, but we'll we'll talk about that when we get there. Ooh! I, I see you guys walking away from me. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> How are you going? Where are you going? The, the inn. inn. We're going to the inn, hon. Okay, I'm coming down. <laughs> I'm surrounded by idiots. Don't forget your rope. I already have oh, so like you're someone important. <laughs> okay, so I, I go down the stairs to go with them. <laughs> <laughs> so you all head towards the inn. Are you going to the inn you know you know about? Yeah, the, the, at yeah. least that way we can find it. Yeah, correct. Might be oh, spurred, yes. <laughs> oh god, I'm on point. I I have a bad sense of direction. We just... Well, we're, we're not gonna follow you, Dan. You're gonna follow us. Yeah. Well, you'll, you'll have to stop me and make me follow. Because I'm on point, I don't see you. Why not? How short are you? I'm not short. I'm gonna... Okay. I'm walking in front of you, so how do I know you're walking a different direction? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Well, that's effective. <laughs> okay. So you all head into the right direction and you are going towards the inn, which I forgot his name of because for some reason it's not even in my notes. It's weird. <laughs> it must have been accidentally deleted once again. Nice. Another incident. So, I believe it was the something fish. Kettlefish? Maybe. Something like that, yeah. Well, I, I don't pay attention to what you say. <laughs> no. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check my DNA the note for one more time. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So, you head off to the inn and you come across your... Favorite dwarf innkeeper. Wait, it wasn't a dwarf. dwarf? Was it dwarf? No, dwarf was uh, the no, it, the pub. It was a merman, wasn't it? It was a merman. Was a merman, yeah. Yeah, it was a. If then it's your favorite merman. Sorry again, I can't find my notes correctly, so I'll just put it back down. And uh, they notice that you have another traveler with you, a cobalt. Hmm. Looks royal to me. You can see Dungaree okay. pretty much being behind and just tucking away the the, the scale again. <laughs> Good me. Okay. So, are we going to get something to eat? Yes. Yeah. And one of those beers. Good one. <laughs> Only one? 
Uh, one. We'll start with one and then we'll go on to two and four. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Of... I mean, it's the beer. Just saying. Mm -hmm. It's the beer. I'll just have a wine, thanks. Okay. We'll do beer. So, local brewery, local brewery. Local brewery. Okay, 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 okay. Didn't they also have some kind of other beer there? I know yeah. they had that uh, weird uh, addicting beer, but they also... D that's the local brewery. Okay, and what's the other one? That's just a cheap beer. There's a cheap import beer. I'll get that. Everyone cheap input beer? Oh, yeah. local brewery. I'll just have wine. Yeah. So one bottle, so one cake of beer and one bottle of wine. That's what's that's fine. Fine. Oh. All right. No, no I, I, wait. Didn't wait. Uh, so one person wants wine. Some want local yes. brewery, and, and I want uh, imported. If I got that yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, then uh, one cake of uh, local brewery and uh, I guess a bottle of. Uh, Do you know beer. how big a keg is? Keg is. That's your problem. I'm not gonna drink any 50, of that stuff. Fifty liters. I guess he means one mug of beer of imports. Yeah. Okay. No, I said Fine. one bottle. I said one bottle. A bottle of import beer. Beer doesn't come in a bottle. It, it in this time, who, it was Moon who said, um, "Here, so one keg of beer and one bottle of wine." Yes. So he wants a he wants a keg of local brewery. I was joking, because <laughs> a keg of beer is fifty liters, which is. Let's let's get a pint. Sure. sure. Anyway, I okay, just give me a beer already, and I'll start drinking, so I can ignore beer. these guys. <laughs> okay. Good idea. Yeah. I'm gonna just make it easy for you. A keg of import beer is oh about what? What do you want to say, no, Moon? No. Oh God! No keg. It actually, no looked keg. it up. No keg. Okay. Yes. I'll take one bottle of import brewery. Uh, import beer. Mug. Mug bottle mug whatever. One. How mug much? Of how much is a bottle of the local brewery? Local brew. Okay, let's see. A keg of beer. Where is it? Okay, while you are discussing this, I am already drinking my beer and halfway through. We don't I may as well go grab my wine. <laughs> ah, here's something I want to know. Ah, that doesn't show a keg of beer either. Back, but it's it's just, it's just said it's around uh, two to five gold. So I'm gonna go with two gold because cheap. Cheap, cheap. Two gold for a keg for keg. <laughs> and a bottle of wine. That one does have a prize on it. That's uh... uh ninety nine bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety nine bottles of beer. That's How eighty silver. Do you drug, Sam? And one mug of import. Take beer. one down. Yeah. Pass it around. Wait, a beer is two gold? Oh. A keg, a keg. Yes. A keg. A... How That's... much is a bottle of the local brew? One bottle, not a keg. Alana, a keg is basically a whole barrel. I know, but I want the local brew, not the import <laughs> stuff. You know how expensive the local brew was in the in the uh, pub, right? I don't want a keg, I want a bottle. A bottle of local brew. You can't get a bottle of local brew because they only come in kegs or mugs. Oh, mug of local brew then. Yeah, mug. Give me a mug. <laughs> How much is a mug? That I. Uh, they, okay, the, while uh, you two are arguing about beer, I will have my second one, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? That I have actually reduced the price of it. It's ninety silver for one mug of local of local brewery because of because of ingredient stuff. And Perfect. How much is for one mug of import beer. You have a keg now. So you can... I never asked for a keg. I never bought a keg. Ozzy has bought a keg. <laughs> no! Congratulations. Okay. Okay, okay. Ten silver for a mug, okay? For for imports. Okay. okay How much yeah. silver is one gold? 
<laughs> and I just spewed my ten, ten. everywhere so, because of that. Congratulations on up to your fifty liters of beer. Okay, so you guys have an hour. Wait, then ninety silver is nine gold. It is. But one hundred silver is one uh, gold. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. No. My mistake. Then it's only one silver. One silver. Uh, well, I'll I'll just do the import. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll so just order three by now because oh my god. <laughs> I'm just sitting here forget. with Sam sipping my wine. Yeah, I'll sit right next to her and I'll just drink my beer. You all just drink your beer. Sam and uh, Ilona's drinking local local brewery, which is expensive. And uh, bum, bum, bum. you have your bottle yeah. of wine over there. Can I again oh. try to perceive if, if I can find anything out like new about the herb? <laughs> really? We have to go to that swamp town, guys. Uh, just saying. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm trying one more time. I want to see whether I can find anything new. I so to ask about the town first. Mm -hmm. As for your cobalt's oh. friends, they are uh, they're just drinking. So they're just drinking. Uh, what do they drink? No, I'll just roll the dice. If I can't decide. Let the dice decide. Random roll twenty roll. Wee. 18. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. And they will have a mug of beer as well. Which one? Normal. Im okay. Import it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, they're drinking as well. Everyone is drinking happily. Hello, yeah. uh, you're all started exchanging stories. Elona, you want to do a taste test, don't you? Yes. I'm not what? giving up on this. What do you want to check? Mm. Hi, other kitty. Come here, you. Yeah. I want to check if I, yeah, if the if I can taste what herb or what kind of herb. Yeah, that, that that's nice, but uh, do. What? How do you want to check? It? Do you want to check if you've tasted it before? Do you want to check if it has any medical properties? Do you want to check if there's any magic in it? No, oh, I know it has medical medical properties because it, it heals. I already <laughs> found that out. Mm -hmm. um, good, good. I know that I haven't tasted it before because I think I already tested that too. What was the last thing you said? <laughs> that was that was the medical stuff. But you can also just ask. Uh, you can also just check, like, pretty much you're going to do either one of these checks. You're going to do a medicine check to see if it, if you know, if a medical history, if you know it, or a magical history, which is an arcane check, or a nature check to see if you may have tasted it in the wild somewhere. Yeah, nature check. All right, roll a nature check. So that's a, that's a d20 plus your, bo plus your bonus. Mm -hmm. 15! And you taste it once again, and you barely isolate the, the herb's taste, and you learn, or at least you don't learn, you remember, and I, thanks kitty, <laughs> kitty being weird, uh, and, you rem and you remember that these kind of herbs are known to, you know, grow in bogs. In fact, oh. most these these herbs Mostly grow after the autumn, right at the end of winter, they will start growing in large numbers at places where a lot of mushrooms used to grow. Okay, then I will know what to look for in the swamps. Mm -hmm. But you do not know what kind. Of, you do not know the name of it. You just remembered okay. these. These are herbs that flourish where mushrooms used to grow. Okay. I will continue drinking my beer. Okay. I have a kitty who wants soup here. That was the kitty that, that well, was uh, being hyper, hyper here. So... So, uh, someone wants to do something fun? Oh, yeah. 
if we're all yeah. having our drinks or... It's or do you want to wait until after we've actually eaten? Nope. Hang on, what time is it currently eaten? It's about 8 p.m. now. Okay. Ozzyus, didn't you have a deck of cards? Yes. I want to play with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm joining. He's just looking through his bag. Nope. 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 Ah, here. Yep. What do you want to play? And how much do you want to wager? Let's play... You know Blackjack? Yes, ours wins. What? <laughs> he's telling you the rule that he will win because he's the house. Fair enough. Uh, poker. We'll poker. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Reef them hold them poker or uh, something else? <laughs> Reef them hold them here, so. <laughs> Reef them hold them poker. <laughs> I, I find it a good <laughs> save. I find it a good <laughs> save. <laughs> That basically means that you have two cards in your hand and, the, and you work around the a, 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 you work around the hand on the table. So basically, it's a long holding. Sure. Uh, two gold. Okay. As a buy-in, yeah, sure. For that. I'm just gonna set this music up just for the funsies. You start with your epic battle in bluffing. <laughs> now, <laughs> I have no idea how to run blackjack in D and D, so we're just gonna. <laughs> so we're just gonna roll the dice every time to see how much your hands will will have. Oh, my game is just currently a bit. Weird. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just gonna roll d20s because if we play actual poker, it will take ages. Yeah. But uh, we will just roll dice, and at, you do not know what your hands will be until the bet is done and when you have to reveal the hand. That's when you will roll your d20s, and the highest results will win. Unless it's a tie, then you will have to roll again for d6, and then the highest roll win. If it ties again, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we'll see then. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so who's playing? I'll just watch. I'll, I'll watch. Me, I'll just sit here sipping my wine. Ozzyus is it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ozzyus and Fordak are in. Is Sam or Alona in or not? Nope, he's yeah. watching. Oh. I'm in. Sam is also in. Okay. It's my idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course I'm So, in. <laughs> the three of you start start in. Ozzyus starts uh, shuffling the deck. And just for funsies, Ozzyus do a dex check. <laughs> dex check. <laughs> or A deck... A dex check. <laughs> a dex check. A dex check. I like that. 18. 18. <laughs> okay. You you notice that Ozzy is pretty nimble with his with his fingers, shuffling the deck quite masterfully. Hmm. So hmm. you can you can tell that he has played a lot of cards before. I mean, fair enough. He he's a gambler. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, and thus he gives you all two cards, and then he set, and then he has two cards in front of him. Then he sets up the the cards in the ha hand in the middle. You have three. Mm -hmm. With that, you have three cards revealed, and two are still gonna be revealed. I want to squeak. Has given us a deluxe charge. Thanks, for, thanks for the subscription. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> what? But yeah, so. With that, you all have your 
initial hands. With your initial hands, I want you to roll a... I, I do want to give you all, let's say, a small advantage. You must all roll a d4, and that will be a bonus for when you fully reveal. So do we do GM rolls? GM rules, yeah. Huh. So pretty much, you all roll a d4 to see what kind of advantage you have, so you can, you know, make a bet. Sam, you need to roll d4. Oh, just... Yeah, relax. GM roll 4. Okay. Oh. It's public. Okay. That's public, so I don't know. But yeah, you're supposed to do a GM roll d4. Oh. So I don't know. So they don't know what it is. So you can bluff. Where where do I do that? Moon you type it in, dip in chat. GM roll. D4. So I know what your bonuses are. And you know your own bonus. But the rest doesn't. I have no idea what you're... Asking me roll to do. 20 chat. It's, it's sla slash GM yeah. roll and then D4. Or you go on the left Just on the dice, click on GM, and then roll the dice you want to roll. Oh, oh GM, yeah. If it's blue, then it's selected. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now you know what your bonuses are. And I know what your bonuses are. Okay. So the cards are on the table, you look at your hands, and you can now start betting. Didn't we already start with two gold? Yeah, two gold, but do you want to um, raise it? No. Sam, do you raise it? No. Ozzy, do you raise uh, five it? Five silver. Ozzy raises five silver, what do you do? I join. You join. Join. <laughs> you call. all join. Call is that right? Yeah, call. Yeah, call. All right. Okay. The next card is revealed, and normally we bet again, but otherwise we'll keep. Ro we'll so, so should I do it with another D four for every time you wanna when a card is revealed? Yeah. Yes. Sure. Okay. Roll another D four for me, please, in GM roll, so the others don't know. Yes. Got it. Well, you kids are all busy. I am going to get myself something to eat. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Do that. Uh, get us something too, I guess. So the next cards. Okay. I'm gonna have to know what you want. Food. Glorious food. So with that, you now know your your cards, and you know what kind of odds you're having. You may now call another bit. Alright, ten silver. Donna, do you... okay, Sam, it's your turn. I, I raised fifteen. Raised by fifteen, so it's not. So it's been in totally raised well, to fifteen. I... Yeah. So he said ten, and I said fifteen. So that's five more than him. So five, five silver added. Yeah. Ozius. I'll add another gold on top of that. Ooh. <laughs> really. Someone's feeling lucky. Fordak, it's your I turn. Call. No, Fordak. Call. call, call. Oh. Everyone calls. And the last card is revealed. It's time to roll your D20s. Public or GM? Public. And now we'll add your bonuses. To be fair, I don't think the calculation will matter because I know the rules. Yes, <gasps> Whoa. I was, I was saying right now, all of you had a bonus of four. God damn it! <laughs> wow. Wait, why four? Why four? That was pretty. Everyone annoying. had a four total. You, you, Moon and Jeremy both rolled a two. Twice. <laughs> and no, I rolled a three the second time. I rolled a three the second time. Oh, it then you're five. Matter. Then you're five. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because he had a 20, you're, you're way off with the bonuses, so... Congratulations! Ozzy wins the first uh, pot. That was you, a big one, right? Yeah. You wanna play again? Yeah, low this time, one gold. Okay. Uh, Are you guys minus, in? Minus three gold. 
I'm nah, just I'm calculating retreat. my stuff at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> this is I'm yeah. gonna take a strategic retreat. I'm gonna get some more food and another beer. <laughs> so only Ozzy is already on the way, remember? What are you? I'm already on the way. You weren't getting any. I was already going. Well, fine. I'm joining you <laughs> yeah, to to carry the food. I'm very gentlemanly like that. <laughs> Sam is there for Sam dropped out. So Fordak and I'm also kind of drunk. So yeah, Fordak and Ozzyus, oh, you, you two continue, don't you? Yeah. Okay then, let's get this on. So before that, a card, can you check your messages real quick? Okay, but I have to check my phone for that because otherwise the stream will see everything, and that's annoying. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Loading in. There's no messages. It's in the DM messages. Ah, oh, yeah, but, uh... Oh, Rose Pick and Mash costs how much? That's, uh... Oof. For everyone, that's a gold. Alright. It's a simple meal. And, uh... Okay, okay, okay. So... Fordex has one gold. What do you say before even... Are you in for, for a one gold bet? For the start? Sure. Okay, one gold at stake. All right, who who's who's shuffling the cards this time? I guess me, because last time it was Ozzy's. Okay, for the egg. dexterity check, just for fun. Uh, dexterity, uh, there. Even better than Ozzy's. <laughs> Nineteen. Ozzyus, you see, Fordak go shuffling his cards and shuffling the cards, and he's also pretty proficient in it. Maybe slightly better than you. Who knows? Again, nothing special happens, but it's just fancy work. So you deal the cards, and two cards go to Fordak, two cards go to Ozzyus, and five cards in the middle are free revealed. Roll your first D4s. Right. With that, you may now commence the betting. Call. Call. Nothing happens. So with that, you the next card is revealed. Roll your D force. All right. Do you? Does anyone want to ch want to change anything? Yeah, I just want to check, just to be sure. We didn't leave Alona on that gate, right? No, she's with you. Oh. Okay. Okay, with you. I yelled at you, I like, "Where are you going?" Server. And then I turned you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't know I if you were one. slow, yes or no. <laughs> so, okay. Thirty-one or what? Mm -hmm. I raised I by one. I said. Yeah. Yeah. Raised by one silver, and then he raises another silver on top of it. Oh, one silver. okay. That... Now, what do you mean? Oh, gold. Oh, he raised by one gold. Oh. One yeah. gold? Yeah. Call. Call. Okay, that's two gold on the line. The last card is revealed. Roll your d20s. Oh, yes. I do not want to play with this man anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzyus takes again the pot again. Seven. Again the seven and he got a 19. It's one less than another. And your bonuses were tied. <laughs> oh. Again? Yeah. I'm a great gambler. <laughs> I'm just bad at math and logic. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen, yeah. if you are both done with your gambling uh, this time, here, Wonk! food on the table. There we go. Oh, thanks. The How cards shake a little, there. but uh, it's clear that your epic battle of gambling has has been terribly put in halt for some food. Um, How much was it? Uh, hang on, just something to Moon. Uh, I know that, but I do not want to uh, abuse that.
Oh, no, no, no. It's personal. personal. That's how my character is. Uh -huh. Still, I don't want to abuse it. Because Good. you're not anyway. guy, so I'm going to be a nice guy to you. Anyway, as I sit down, I tell, the, I tell Ozzy, the food was a gold. That's all. Oh, so I'd pay it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Considering oh, you've been profit, winning. So. <laughs> <laughs> I lost five gold today. <laughs> That's gambling plus, for ya. Plus the golden dragon scales that I gifted away. <laughs> um, whatever. That's Speaking of different. which, where, is, did Dungaree all, all go away? No, no Dungaree's still with you. Did she, she's just drinking and well, eating. Why does everyone never see Dungaree? <laughs> Dungaree's just there. She's just being very protective. She's not. She was just watching. Dungry is here, right. but someone taking away the dragonscape for For one, yeah. <laughs> Just making sure we haven't lost people. All the people are here and accounted for. Alright, good. Hey. <laughs> so. So, you all eat your meal. And it gets later in the, into the evening. And it's slowly going to night. What will you do? Okay, sailor. What? I'm what? Go to bed. I'll go to sleep. <laughs> well, you're no fun. Well, before Excuse we go, me. before that, how about we do a little puzzle? Why a puzzle? <laughs> what kind of puzzle? Do we have to bet something? No, this is just a little fun. Okay. Mm. Guess I'll join. I reach into my bag and pull out my tinder box. Can we shoot it with arrows? No, let's not. Are you yeah. going to light something on fire? <laughs> no. Oh, oh no, I get it. No, I get it. <laughs> I take out. Let me check real quick. Are we swiping right? Oh. Four, five, six. I pull out 18 matches and set them on the table. 18 matches? Huh. That's weirdly specific. It's a puzzle, what did you expect? Exactly. I put the I put the image in the Discord. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to show that in the general. Yeah. The puzzle is... You have to move one matchstick? I to know. get to the correct equation. I know the solution. <laughs> oh, there Let's are see no if problem. everyone else does. Sure. <laughs> All right. Yeah. True. Wait. Fix by moving one matchstick. Yeah. True. They are. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. They are multiple. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh -huh. I'm gonna okay. say. The, I'm gonna say the one I saw first. Okay. Right. Go ahead. Move, uh, move the vertical uh, match from the pl from the plus and add it to the six, so it becomes an eight. So it's eight minus four equals four. Okay. Can mm -hmm. I do mine? Go ahead. Okay. Move the middle one from the six and make it a zero. Then a zero plus four is four. Mhm. Mm where I, am a rebel. I am a rebel. Ha ha ha. Oh, I'm going to be the rebel. <laughs> You're going to be a rebel. Why are you a rebel? I'm going <laughs> to take the vertical one from the plus and do it diagonally through the equal sign. Oh, clever. Oh. That is rebel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> rebel. <laughs> All right. That's a very good one. Why didn't I do that? Dungri's just watching <laughs> and doesn't get it. I I've never seen someone else do that. I have before. In an actual really? game where I didn't, I didn't know it before. And I was like, I could just make it non-equal. Yes. And everyone was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> As a programmer, I'm like, yes. Yeah, same programmer here. So, well, yeah. kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Makes so much sense. Oh, I know. I I just no. saw another one. 
Oh, go take, ahead. Take the match from the bottom left of the six and put it on top of the four behind the weak or sign, and it's five plus four equals nine. <laughs> Clever. Nice. I know another oh, one. one. All right. I put my cat on the table. I put a cat on the table, and he swiped all the matches. There, so. <laughs> <laughs> there are no oh cats in the inn. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I put on cat ears, and I swiped everything off the table. Do you have cat ears with you? <laughs> <laughs> I can maybe stick my hair up so they look like cat ears. I'll allow it, but only f only for one thing. You have to roll an intelligence check. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any intelligence. <laughs> Same. Okay. Let's see if you're smart enough to make it convincing. Or, do you, or you look like an old total idiot. Eighteen. You oh. are smart enough. To make your hair look like yes! cat ears, slightly convincing, if not offensive to Tabaxi. <laughs> <laughs> you are lucky, there are no Tabaxi in the inn right now. Oh my god, Sam, how drunk are you? Are you kidding? Of course I'm drunk, I've had two beers. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Right. Oh. I've, I I do have one more that I want to ask of you. Where are all my matches? They're on the floor. <laughs> no, this one. <sighs> Put in general uh, again. Okay. Can you move four matchsticks. Oh Jesus! <laughs> they up the difficulty. Why do you do I this? <laughs> I think I know it. Go okay. ahead. I need to turn uh, off the I map. I have four middle ones and move them all to the outside. So then you have five, right? One big one and then... Yeah, then you're... Yep. The four five. small ones. Then you don't have squares. Yeah, you do. You they have one big squares. square and then four smaller squares. Mm -hmm. Oh! That was the first thing I saw, at least. Don't know if it's right. I think so. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that is possible, <laughs> but you don't have six. Yep. No, I don't think so. I oh, think yeah. you still have, you have five, more. then. Yeah, it's five. You still have five, then. One ah, big maybe. one and four small ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, uh, well, I can draw another one around uh, I've got a question, I've got a question. <laughs> Uh, do the squares go? Um, do they get cut? Do they do they get cut off by the matches, or do they go like through? So it's like um, if there's a square and there's a square, then this counts as one, this counts as one, and both count as one. So it's three. So you're basically asking if the squares can overlap each other. Yes. That they can. This is a good one. I did say yeah. that they can overlap, by the way. Not that they cannot. Yeah, yeah, I know. I right. cannot not. <laughs> I already know the solution of this, but I'm GM, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah, well, you, you, I also can, you know can play it. as the dwarf. Yeah, as the, I, what was I'm it? Just as being the right now, I think. We can make seven squares. Hey, Jim, you can play as, as our guest, who hasn't spoken anything, because that's... Uh, <laughs> fine. But yeah, I have I to know. roll a, a wisdom check if they see they're smart enough to find yes. out. Because otherwise it's cheating. Well, why not? You can have a smart dwarf. I was a dwarf, right? Or... Kobold! Kobold. Eight and seven would be easy, though. Yeah, six is possible. It's not that hard. Oh, that's fun. I've minus two to doing to wisdom. 
Let's see if they're smart enough to know the answer. That's a no. Aww. <laughs> they don't get it. Pity. Do you want an to stew on it, or should I just give you the answer? Oh, I, I, I do know it. If you want to know. Go ahead. Ru. Go ahead. Go ahead. From the uh, bottom left, take the two on the inside and take them to the outside. And do the same with the top right. I like how everyone is thinking about this one. <laughs> yeah. Can you repeat it, please? This, could you repeat the solution, please? I'll try to think. Oh yeah, that's Maybe exactly six. Mission. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. One big one, two bit smaller ones, and then the small ones left. Yeah. Three. My paint. Mm-hmm. Paint? He's not loading. <laughs> <laughs> Paint.net. Paste. No. Set out top to six precisely. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying the music at least. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, we, I think we should slowly move on, so... Probably after yeah. this. Yeah. Move on as in to blow stuff up, or... Or die. <laughs> You're not murder hobos, please. Ah. I know that's technically every cha cha chaotic evil campaign in a nutshell, murder hobo. But when you're not, chaotic evil party. Is that right, Moon? Chaotic mm -hmm. evil campaigns are boring. Yeah, you can make fun ones, but both go, I'm murder hobo now. Hey, look, an orphanage. I said it on fire because I'm chaotic evil. I'm like, that's not really chaotic evil. That's honestly, being a douchebag. Hang on, honestly, oh. I can only see four squares there and not six. No. It's, Actually, you have a big one. A big one, and then yeah. one bigger one on the right, which contains of, you know, like four small squares. And then left below, also four small squares, one big one. Oh, and then yeah, you have now I three, see it. Now I see it. Three yeah, yeah. small ones. In other words, in six. now I see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> all right. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, now it's getting too hard for me. I'll get the hay. For the forfeits. Yeah, I'm going to sleep too. <laughs> all right. L Lona Let's forfeits. And nobody ever gets the answer. Unless Ozzy has something to say. Or oh, Ozzy's already had something to say, but nobody else has something to say. Yeah, no, we did. We got the answer. Okay. Yep. Okay, yeah, Ozzy's got, got the answer. Okay, Ozzy's got the answer. And everyone is done with it. It's like, okay, now with the puzzles, they want to go to bed. Right? <laughs> yes, time for yes. bed. Sure. <laughs> Sleep off this hangover. Okay. I hope they, I I have, I hope they have a bed that fits uh, Dungaree. Because I don't think this is... Cobalts are small. They'll be fine. Fair enough. No, I, I meant like because uh, Dangri is noble or something like that, I think. I don't think they care. He's but... sleeping in a jail. Yeah, I think any upgrade will be fine for now. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, the night falls and you all go to sleep. And you all take your long rest. See what I did there? Why don't I trust you for some reason? Because I have Aaron? my evil smirk on always. I want the short. Yeah, I kind of figured that in the evil smirk voice. Uh, but, you but no, you take your long rest, and uh, you slowly all wake up in the morning and. Uh, Around, well, in the morning hour, so you'll be fine. You can get, take your long rest, you can set your new spells, you can change your spells, do whatever. And morning arises, and at the moment, there's nothing bad going on. You're all just waking up, and huh. you slow... Unless someone has a reason to stay in their room a bit longer, you all reconvene at the lobby of the inn. Well, 
I'll just call it the lobby, but don't, it's not really a lobby. I think it's more like an eating drinking room, but you know, inns. So guys, the caravan from the Ghana is coming today. Do you want to go to the gate to wait for it? You may as well. We see who's coming. When it arrives. Well, the I'd princess. We search for Baldrick. To marry yeah, we... the... If we just go for Baldrick, we can just... Wait there. Mm -hmm. Makes more sense. We can get a reward. That too! Oh, we, sh we should get that reward, actually. What if you guys go get, go get the reward and then... I will go to the gate to wait for them. I mean, you can also ask him when the current arrives, so... It, it might morning, already be that... here. True. Oh, that's true. He was waking up early for it, so it makes sense that it's already here. Wait, wait, hang on. Who was the person that uh, could talk with others uh, without actually being near them? With a spell? I can. Then I would say you go to the gate, and if the caravan arri arrives, you can, you could tell us, or and while we search for Bulbrick. It's n um, it has short distance. It it can't go that far. God damn it! Okay. It's not sending. <laughs> um, wait a second, Dungri, you want to go to the mayor's house, right? Shall I accompany you there? Dungri would like that. Mayor's office is. Mm. He can look at it. Dungaree tries to think where it could be, and I'm rolling in history tech for Dungaree, which is uh, not looking good either because they're not. This cobble's not smart. <laughs> Eleven. Uh, it is somewhere near Irdu's descend. Somewhere around here. Okay. Yeah, I will actually. I will get you there first. Okay, okay. We can ask someone when we're there where it is. Okay. Alright, so I guess we're heading to see Wolverick then? Well, I will. I don't care about the caravan. So you're <laughs> gonna go with uh, Dungaree? I'm going to search for Wolverick. Okay. But then you might I'm encounter the caravan. Dungaree. Because Wolverick is supposed to receive the caravan. Exactly, that's why we're going to Baldrick. I guess I'm going to the reward. Wait, um, hang on. I forgot the name. Um, Fistjaw gave me a note to who I should go because we protected the caravan so well, so I could claim my special ore. Oh, I right, that's, a, that person. that's in the Eastern Docks. I forgot <laughs> the name of the there. person I should see. Don't worry, just head to the Eastern Docks where you... Uh, met uh, Stonejaw, and one of the people in there will will validate your claim. Yeah, I'll I'll go there then. Mm -hmm. That's where I'll go. Yeah. All right. Guess we're heading to find the caravan. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking Dungaree. All right. We'll see each other later. Okay. Uh, let's make it easy. Um, first off, I will do Fordex reward. Fordex, you head towards the eastern docks, which is over in this direction. Um, I need you to roll a quick history check. History, uh, there. Mm, it takes you a while to find the right to remember where the right uh, warehouse is. Don't worry, you do find it after a little while, and then you... I, so what? I don't have luck today. I don't have luck today, at all. <laughs> nope. nope. <laughs> now you know how I feel! Well... <laughs> so, but eventually... You have feelings? <laughs> the dungeon master will remember that. <laughs> I know! <laughs> <laughs> either way, either way, you find it, um, you knock on the door, and, uh, and, a moment, and a half-orc opens the door. Uh, who are you? Uh, I, I was helping out with a caravan a few days earlier. Fistjaw gave me this. I should uh, claim some special ore. Mm -hmm. And I hand over the paper. He, the orc takes the parchment. Ah, uh, you, you're the lot who took care of those freaking annoying bandits. 
Yeah. Yeah, we took over the camp yesterday. Hmm. Good. Good. And he rolls the paper up. And he, he takes it with him, goes inside. And you can hear some, some crate opening. Then he comes back and hands you a ch two chunks of silver. Hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. Have a nice day. No, no problem. And he closes the door. Now, two chunks of silver. Silver is not a very durable asset, but it can be made. No. It's very good for magical equipment. And also useful against werewolves and vampires and a lot. Yeah. So that's nice to have. I don't have any durable stuff currently. You're a barbarian, you'll be fine. Hmm? You're a yeah, barbarian, yeah, you'll be fine. So with that. I was, I was meaning in terms of chunks, I have bronze and I have silver. Mm -hmm. Well, you, it was a special ore, and silver is considered special ore in some places. True. True. Also trade. Mm-hmm. You can trade that later. So Elona, you will go to the mayor's office. Eventually you find the mayor's office. I'm not even gonna make you roll for this. I'm just gonna speed it along so we can get everyone together as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. And it's this big building over here. Oh. All right here. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. You stand in front of this large building. It's look it looks pretty glamorous. And Dungri points out that this is this is my office. This is where we be. She leads you inside, and inside you see uh, no lines. You do see one guard standing uh, in front of a desk, and and there's a desk worker there. And as soon as they enter, they look up and say, "Like, huh? Someone actually came in today." And the desk worker is. Golem is an full blood elf with long blonde hair and your typical librarian glasses. <laughs> and uh, for further inspection, it's a mill. The guard, however, has a helmet and is completely covered up, and you can't see uh, who they are. Okay. Hello, I'm here with a guest. And then I point towards Dungri and let him introduce himself. Her. <laughs> what, do we actually know? Oh, yeah. Yes, Elena you know she. Know that uh, Dungri is a girl. <laughs> Dungri is a girl. And neither does her, Inga. I let her introduce herself. Okay. <laughs> so Dungri <laughs> walks up, shuffles forward, and goes like, "I Dungri from Swordvale. Big name, big name." And the desk worker looks like you. Do you know that the that there's there's a lot of things going on right now, and this is just a small uh, desk at the moment. And Dungri no care. Dungri wants. Dungri needs to send message and need to report in. The the elf and the, the elf and desk work is like adjust the glasses and goes, ah, okay, and goes through some of the paperwork. From which caravan are you? Dungri thinks for a moment and then says we were we were attacked by bandits from Swordville. Yeah, but which one? Uh and then Dungri thinks again. Had paper, but stolen and destroyed. Uh and they're thinking and they're thinking. And you alone to see that Dungri is thinking and this Elf and desk worker being a little bit in the condescending side and just sighing. Clearly, they were. They're also again not in the mood to be here. It's like a running theme. <laughs> but finally, Dungri's like, right. Diplomatic, diplomatic caravan with gold. And then that lights up the librarian's eyes. Oh, the gold caravan. But it was only for two gold bars. It wasn't that a lot for a caravan? Yes, which is why we were robbed. Hmm. Right, I see. Diplomatic caravan. Ah, here it is. Yes, it said that it was a noble coming. A cobalt noble. Well, 
That is uh, quite standard in, uh, in Sword Phil. Indeed. All right. What do you want from us? Hell, I need, I need help. And it's like, ah, yeah, you were robbed and everything. I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, don't worry. Uh, head into the back. I uh, will lead you there and uh, that will be fine. And then let's look at Lona. Um, do you need anything? And you adjust his glass hungry. again. Dungri, can I still help you with anything? Or are you okay with this? Dungri just nods. It's like, I, I'm okay. Okay. And so... And I'm probably gonna join my friends outside. Mm. Right. So with that, you say goodbye to Dungri. And... She, she goes off with the with the desk worker and the guard also follows and they go into the back. And you don't hear any suspicious noises, so it's all probably well and dandy. Mm -hmm. and, with, and with that, Alona is also free to go and join you guys. Sweet. And with that, you all gonna start... Start looking around for uh, Balfrick. Do you guys ask anyone on the way? That would be smart. Are we smart? No. Do we need a... An... <laughs> okay. I want any of you to roll a quick... A quick d20 to see what the outcomes are of your asking. We're just speeding it along. Just to see if you get an early or... You're all come together on accident or not. There. Hallelujah, it's a 20. There. You, <laughs> so, you asked the right people. Yeah, okay. Don't worry, Madonna. Veronica, I said just one has to roll. <laughs> I, was, I am somewhere completely else. I'm at the Eastern Docks. Yeah. <laughs> I know you are, but this is just to see if you, ca if you come in later or earlier. And they find it. And so, here we go. Veronica, with uh, Veronica's roll, you ask the right people, and you quickly find Bolverick at the blah, 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 at the start of the yeah, right there. I forgot. I cannot get it at the square. <laughs> at, the road, at the end of the square. So, everyone who did it, and you're there, you're there quite fast because of everything, so Ilona and Fordek will arrive a little bit later. Mm hmm So, with that, you just see Polverick uh, standing there, and there's, uh, there's several guards there, and there's also some uh, other people there, just looking around. There's also... um. A, a noble merman standing there with a very expensive coat made out of uh, blue silk. Oh dear! Boy, I guess who that is. Uh huh. Oh dear, dear, dear. <laughs> Looks like we've got some uh, very high company here. <laughs> so, go ahead. What do you do? I got the ball. The drunken sailor. Go <laughs> ahead. We're right behind you, Ozzy. Yeah, way behind. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going. So you see Bolfric uh, talking to this uh, merman, and then uh, he and then uh, he adjusts his helmet and dust and dusts his armor off as the uh, nobleman looks a bit strict at Bolfric. I just got in. No mm -hmm. tact. No tact. What do you say? Oh. <laughs> Hello, Bulbrick, sir. I'm back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bulbrick oh, uh, slowly turns, slowly turns around and looks at you. Huh? Oh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, there were some prisoners delivered for uh, by the two slackers at the gate. Um. <laughs> Those were the bandits that survived, so you can interrogate them. And I would also like to report Lieutenant Eric, because we said we had a special delivery. 
And then he was like, special delivery? <laughs> and I thought that was highly suspicious, <laughs> so you might want to look into that. Uh, also, they left the gate unattended, like even his partner went with him. Uh, apparently, according to the merchants, they <laughs> do not check for paperwork. Um, wow, <laughs> tell. partner was drunk on the job, and yeah, that's not good. That noble is hearing everything, and do you remember? Is he <laughs> trying to start a fight? <laughs> no, but the bets are like gone, it. so merchants are safe. <laughs> The noble, the nobleman actually overhears this and goes, "That's a lot to take in there," and he walks oh, over. And it's like, Polverick, has the night crew been disobedient again?" And Polverick goes, like, "With all due respect, sir, without the night captain uh, returning anytime soon, they've been." Taking shady deals. I've been dealing with them, but it's really hard by myself. You should try the you should try the captain of the south uh, side. She can handle those people. It's like, <laughs> and the merman goes oh, like, yeah. huh. I might have to take your word up for that. I am." Uh, Sounds like you had a handful. Excuse, and then the, the little man looks at you. Excuse me. Who are you? Me? Mm -hmm. Yes, he asked you. Yes. Oh. That was fine, because you asked. My name is Veronica. Huh. A pleasure to meet Veronica. you. Veronica also dealt pleasure. with it. Hmm. hmm. I see. I see. That is really interesting. So, Bolferic, are these the people who actually took care of him? And then Bolferic looks at, well, considering uh, Eric's reputation of lying, yes, they have indeed uh, brought in bandits before and even caught a thief. So, I would take their words over that of my own, of those of the night shift. Wolfric just looks like I'm sorry about that bear, but you know I was being with the bandits. Oh, I do, I do indeed. Hmm. Well then. Well then, well then, well then. Uh, at least we don't have to worry about that. At the moment, because there might be new ones coming back. You can see Bolfrig. Oh, Rick also looking worried. Oh, yeah, that is true indeed. Oh, don't they you were worry. They ahead. were under orders, so it makes sense that someone's going to replace him. Yeah. I'm trying to find him. I want to stake uh, it uh, out. I think you would appreciate knowing where their hideout is, though. You could probably set a trap for the for the next uh, batch to arrive. That's exactly. It's uh, uh, that away, approximately, and I pointed completely random direction. <sighs> Hold on a second. I pull out my map and show them the marked map where where, where the location is. Here you go, sir. Huh. Wolfric looks at the map and goes, Huh. That's pretty far out. But it's a very good place to launch attacks on the multiple routes. Yes, I can see why there have been a problem. Your boss uh, was going to come back, according to the survivors, with more money, so... Just have some people there, and maybe you can arrest them. Hmm. I'll keep a note of that. And he actually pulls out a little, a little notepad, as in, and you know, an old notepad and a little bit of charcoal, and starts writing it down. And then the mayor <laughs> looks at you. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. I am Mayor Eardu. Of the Irdu family. Last name Irdu, first name Olim. As it, and this is how you, yeah. And this is how you type it. And we have words 
that uh, that today our special guest is arriving. Ooh, interesting. Who are we expecting? The merman smirks. Well, it is it is a very royal deal. We are expecting the yo the youngest princess of Lagana to arrive today. We are, we are hoping for her to wed my uh, oldest son. Oh, what's their name? Son. The prince's name, or the son's yeah. name? The princess. Okay. The Love princess it. name of Lagana is called Marianne Lagana. Oh, it's not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was gonna be dungaree. That would have been awkward. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and awesome. Dungaree is no. Not I think you uh, mispronounced sword awesome. <laughs> dungaree is a sword whale. Yeah, it's a sword whale noble. Eh. Not Lagana. <laughs> it's haters potatoes. <laughs> then again, you're Aussie, so. <laughs> Can I ask what his son name is? My the name of my son. Ah, oh, my son. He is a bit of a go-getter. Well, well, I did wanted to say I'd like to describe him first before saying his name. <laughs> hmm. Is that a problem? Go right ahead, sir. He is a bit of a go-getter. He. Always want to go with the adventurous life, but at the same time, he's a bit of a coward. He romanticizes adventure way too much. <laughs> oh, oh, I know a few people like that. Oh, poor Forley. Torley? Torley, sorry. It was Torley. Hmm. And do you think there will be a good match? Marianne Lagana and her son Torley. Hmm, well, from what I've heard in letters, Marianne does like the uh, dark side of life, but at the same time prefers living somewhere away from her kingdom. And, as we all know, we like our royal weddings to establish alliances with bigger kingdoms. That makes sense, yes. While they may have never met in person, we do hope that the wedding goes smoothly. However, there are some... There are some problems with the bandits going around. And the fact that the princess may still decline the, the marriage. Hmm. There's also that, yes. Princesses can be so fickle sometimes. Well, ladies in general, I suppose. <laughs> We've only did this if uh, because the prince, if the princess is unhappy in our town. Well, let's say if a royal isn't happy in your town, it will start rumors, and too many rumors in Reefton can destroy our dark side. Not like that's already a thing, but. Vordak, you're not there yet. I know, I know. I... It's Jeremy that's uh, just saying this outside of the roleplay. Funny enough that you would mention that, because Elona, you can now join the rest, and Vordak, you're gonna you're gonna be a little bit later. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I'm the first away. Yeah, you're the first away. Oh, hello, Alona. How did it go with Dungaree? It went well. He's at the mayor's office and they're helping him out. Good. Her. Her. <laughs> uh -huh. And the, the mayor looks curious at that. Hmm. I guess I will have to check that later. Uh, -oh. uh Excuse me. Uh, Bolverick. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes. Yes. And again, he looks away and is, he looks away for a moment. I think you can handle the rest. I will get my. I will prepare my son to meet the princess. Could you be a dear and 
make sure my daughter Lumia doesn't do anything uh, brash. Oh? And Lumia is very obvious. It's just how you say it. <laughs> and Bulfrick goes, oh, Really, sir? You do know she's way more of a fighter than your son is. And the mayor just chuckles. <laughs> I know, but I don't want her to, you know, try to impress any generals. The captain rolls his eyes. Of course, sir. Don't worry about it. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Eh. With that, I will be off. And the mayor walks away with uh, one guard following him. Your move. So what, at exactly what time are we expecting the caravan to arrive? Well, according to... What we've heard from scouts, it should be around... He looks up at the sun... Hmm... In around an hour or two. Oh, that still gives us a little bit of time. Hmm. You're, qu you're here quite early if she's not due for another few hours. Well, it was an estimate, after all. And... True, well, true. We ha I had to make sure that everyone who was going to be involved with the guarding was informed and was well trained makes sense yes and as you, and then as you know then one of the guards walks up to Bolfric and tells him something sir we have already spotted the caravan in the distance at the, at the gates estimated arrival 30 minutes Oh. <laughs> Bovrig does not. Thank you, Private. Uh, you are dismissed. And the other guard walks away. And as you can see, estimates are very inaccurate. Naturally. And with that, Bovrig looks at you all. So I'm guessing you want a reward for catching those uh, bandits and. From what I've heard, and you've also helped someone on the way? Mm-hmm. Correct. As two prisoners. One woman called Marie, we brought her to her town. And Dungaree. We hmm. brought him here. What? He's at the mayor's office. One of the um, bandits we caught actually claimed he was the boss of the group, so... Hmm, that is very, very good news. I'm afraid I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I can't interrogate them with the whole royal caravan arriving soon, but I can at least tell you, my fangs. Um, could you come to? Let's see, what would be a good place to meet for the reward? Mm, I could bring you to, to the barracks at West Ferry, or perhaps you want to meet meet at a pub. Oh, pub sounds interesting. We haven't oh. seen too much of them. It also means that others see that we get the reward. Maybe some shady people. We might not want this and let them see it. Good. Mm -hmm. Points. So, hmm, true. That would probably so be a smart idea. Yeah. Perk hmm. should be safe unless Lieutenant Eric is there. Now, <laughs> 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 oh, waiting for your answer. That barracks is fine. The West Ferry Barracks, all right. Um, he he uh, holds out his map and points at the location of the barracks, and the West Ferry Barracks are going to be over in this direction, in this area. Okay. 
So that's where the barracks are. Okay. All right. Well, I will have your road ready after I've dealt with the caravan. I'm sorry I can't pay you right now because, you know, the caravan is more important according to the mayor. Obviously. Oh, so when do you want to meet up there then? He thinks for a moment and tries to estimate. Hmm. Well, that's it. That depends how long it takes. I would say around 1 p.m. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Okay. <laughs> and he also then he looks at one of the one of the guards and he says like, "Hey, sergeant!" And the sergeant walks up, and it's a and it's it's an actual female elf this time. Yes, sir. Send a message to the barracks about uh, preparing a reward for the, the captured bandits. And also tell them that Eric is very close to being demoted. Yes, sir. And the sergeant walks off towards the barracks. All right, then. And Bolford just smiled at you. Is there anything else? Alrighty. Well, I do have one question. If you don't mind, can we watch, watch the princess? Or at least wait here until we see her? It's rare to see a princess, after all. <laughs> Borfeg just laughs. <laughs> well, of course. That's, what the, that's why the square has been mostly uh, being guarded. You know, to keep the crowds <laughs> away from a crowd and the princess. But of course, just take a spot in the square. I've all, I'm already going to make sure that uh, there's enough people who are watching and cheering on the princess. And with that, Fordek, you finally arrived at the square! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so you're about to hear the news that you're gonna be go princess watching. I look down, uh, first off I look down the road and see if I can already see the caravan. <laughs> the caravan is not in the city yet. Okay, so I can't see it yet, okay. Then I walk over to the others. For now. <laughs> and with that, so, you guys take a place at the at the square. And you wait a little while, and... I'm just gonna go over to, to here and take my seat. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. <laughs> and you see I'll quick... Bit next to it, over here. <laughs> and you see quickly some guards walking around, some running around, and people starting to walk into the square. That was a that was a bottle cap I threw an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a you problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna use that. That bottle nice. you hear a bottle cap being being dropped, so someone is apparently drinking on the square already. Some some people in the Eric. city, you know. <laughs> uh, and you also see some musicians uh, taking a spot on the square. Uh, if, uh, where I take my leave without saying anything to the others. I'll go in the direction of the, floor, of the smithy. Okay. <laughs> I uh Okay, does anyone want to notice for that leaving? Yes, sure. I would like to. Okay, I want you both to roll perception. Mm -hmm. Me too? Or, or, no, you... No, you don't roll anything. Yeah. You need to roll that Unless you're being stealth. You said you just walk away without mentioning. You don't say you were stealthily. I mean, that's kind of what I was intending to do. So, so you're sneaking uh, away. I'll go away, but trying not to get caught by the others. That's stealth. Pro <laughs> stealth <Yeah>. check. <laughs> He's stealthily ignoring stealth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Osius, you don't notice it, but Elona, your stealth, the stealth, your stealth, and uh, your perception are equal, so you do notice him sneaking away, but barely. Okay, so I um, I use the spell uh, message, and I'm like, where are you going? You hear this whispering from Alona. Where are you going? Then I. I'm in his whispering then I just chair. Stop for a second. Then I uh, keep going and I. Uh, I think I can whisper back to her, right? Yeah. Yes. And I uh, 
tell her that uh, basically um, this is not a place where I want to be for now. And I just walk off. Okay. So I'm gonna you... follow him without him noticing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I want you to st load a stealth check. Do not perception check for me. <laughs> not yet. I want to first see what your stealth check is, and then you have to use your Maybe passive that's... perception. Nine. What's your what? passive perception? Do the others maybe want to notice Elona sneaking away? That I'm first. He's, he's, he's sneaking towards you. The rest, uh, the rest can also check, but uh, you need to check your passive. But I'm gonna check your passive perception first because it, it, he's sneaking after you. He wants to be. He doesn't want to be detected by you. Is if, mostly <laughs> words. I'm curious. So. What is your passive perception? Should be on the left side. It says passives. It's to the left of insight. Okay, then I'm gonna have to look it up myself. What? My, not my right? No, I'm asking Fordex passive perception. Oh, my passive perception? Yeah. Ten. You notice her! You mm -hmm. notice her sneaking after you! Okay, I message him. Can I come? I also don't want to be here. You're like a stray cat! That's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I thought you wanted to watch the princess. It's not something you see every day. Eventually, know, you, I... you catch up and the rest. I'll just say you didn't notice this. Because reasons. <laughs> you're too distracted. You can hear about the princess later. I feel like you're up to something more interesting. <laughs> no, I'm re I'm really not. I just I'm just going. Oh, to but you really are. Look if he has arrived yet. Okay, so tell me what you're gonna do then. I'll just go to the smithy and look if he has arrived yet. That's what I just said. <laughs> Oh, you and your smitty stuff again? Okay. Well, good luck. I'll see you later. I mean, I could do anything else. <laughs> really. I just don't want to be at the square currently. <sighs> okay, then. Okay, I'll go back to the others. The good web. luck with your smitty <laughs> stuff. <laughs> good luck with uh, watching the prince, I guess. Thanks. I shake my head and keep walking in the direction of the smithy. Okay. I shake my head and go back to the others. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking my head. <laughs> Shaking my head. <laughs> okay. So Fordak leaves the party again to go to the smithy. Yep. I just don't want to be at the square. Mm -hmm. You do know uh -huh. more and more people are heading towards the square and you're going against the flow. Just so you know. <laughs> and eventually you head towards the smithy. And Fordak, just for you. Yes, the smithy's there! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Finally! Honestly, I thought it would be a, a square. Mm -hmm. So, do you, square, en be there. do you enter? Yes, I do. Okay. The smithy. Well, I'm not first. I'm not. Okay. I get it, yeah. Come in! But now I enter. <laughs> you come in and you see there it's a fellow dwarf, but with a gray beard. And an eye patch, and you know, and you know that this is an, indeed a smithy dwarf because of the body build of him. Hmm. But he's bald, so don't so don't uh, ninja anything but hair. <laughs> <laughs> so he he looks at you. Ah, fellow dwarf, what brings you to Reefton? Uh, trying to become a smith one day, so mainly searching for. Things where I can forge and maybe some education about that. Ah, one of the path of the smith, eh? Hmm, good to see. Where are you from? I, I'm from Silverlong. Ah, Silverlong. That's a very good dwarven city. I'm not from there myself, I'm more from off continent. And I came here and I just liked the town. It was nice and homely back then in the. I've been in business for quite a while. How long? Hmm. 
Hmm. At least, well, at least 40 years now. 40 years? That's a lot longer than I've been. <laughs> Are you even surprised? And he strokes his beard. No, no not at all. Um, but with all that wisdom, do you think you could pro I mean, probably. Could you teach me some things about smithing? Well, depends. Do you know your basics? Of course I do. <laughs> all right, then. They... Do you, you want me as your master? What's your name? Thordek Iron Fist, sir. Thordek Iron Fist! That's a good name. That's a good name. And this guy's name... My name is... Random Name Generator! Go! <laughs> <laughs> I don't have I don't have every name ready. Mugbeard Iron Fist. <laughs> Iron Fist family. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah I'm so that doesn't work. Okay, I have. Give it a moment. I need to set it to dwarf. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Fancy name. Where is the... Wow, that's, that's a lot of way to name someone. Dwarf names. Uh. <laughs> I'm looking... Let's see. Ah, this is a good one. Dorafin wins grip. And with that, you have. Li he says, "What are you? What are you after?" Um, I search around in my bag and then say, uh, "I've been on a few adventures lately, mainly getting stuff and ore as well, but not that much. Currently, I only have some bronze and silver. Could you maybe?" Teach me stuff I could make with silver. Magic oh. weapons, if you can, if you know anything about that. Magic weapons are really hard, even with silver, but you can uh, make you some... Umi? For me? Oh. You cut out for me. So it's something with my mic. Uh, no, headset. Try again. Okay. Ah! Silver, well, magical weapons take some uh, effort, and uh, incantations and several other things. But silver is used commonly in it. And I will check what kind of silver you can make. Silvered weapons. Okay, now that those are silvered weapons, I just need sil weapons. Ah, that's it. Okay, okay, that's about silver. I don't want to know more about... One moment. I need to look up some charts. <laughs> there we go, that's a good... So you have bronze and two silver. Yeah, I know. You can... Uh, let's see what you need for it. Okay, that's nice. That's some nice weapons, but I need to know. You could maybe send me a chart and meanwhile, while I search through that, you could play the thing with the caravan for the others. That's a good idea. Why don't you look up for it in the meantime, because I can't find it anywhere. I don't know where to find it. Okay, let's give me a moment. As for the rest. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Here it is. I'll let you look through that. Um Jeremy, this is for you. Incoming DM, you're gonna be DM'd. <gasps> yep. There you go. It tells multiple things, but I'll just figure something out in the meantime. 
As for the rest, you eventually learn about the you eventually uh, the rest of the square. You there's a there's a nice crowd of people there. There's some guards holding the people back and uh, having a route for the caravan. And then uh, from a distance, you see coming down the street a caravan. With se with several guards from Lagana who ha who are clad in white, they are completely white with the emblem of Lagana on it, which is let me check the lore binder. Yay, lore binder! <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, right. A drag a. Fire dragon, a red dragon holding a large sword. That is the emblem of Lagana. Okay. And, and the clad in white, red dragon with holding a sword, and they uh, and they have normal armor otherwise. And in and there are two white horses carrying the caravan and the coach. And behind is another caravan with several supplies. Carried by regular horses, and the royal carriage is decorated in in silver ornaments, and is mostly painted white. So Lagana likes their whites. <laughs> you do notice that the guards, even though they're mass, they're pretty big. Like they are white, big, and. Uh, some of them make Bolfix look a bit scrawny. Here. And inside the carriage, you see the Princess of Lagana. However, can you fully see her? Roll perception. All of us? Yep. Okay. Uh, perception. Again, a good roll for Moon. D20, right? Yeah, D20 plus your uh, modifier for perception. Okay. I see all the rolls. Do so, Sam. You cannot perceive... You cannot perceive the princess at all because... There's too much shiny silver in reflecting into your eyes. Dang! Dang <laughs> sun reflections! Ah. Elona! You notice that the princess is clad in, in a white dress, but you do also see the fact that she has two silver pauldrons on her shoulder. But you cannot perceive her face. As for Veronica Nauseas, you're close enough, and you get to see most of the princess. And the first thing you see, and but except the details I already told you, the princess's face is from roll that of a half orc. Oh, she's a half orc. <laughs> yeah, she's a half orc. In I fact, a red skinned half orc. Nice. And she has one tusk sticking out, uh, sticking out from underneath, from a uh, from a lower. Uh, uh, she has a. How do I explain that? Give me a moment. Thinking, thinking, thinking. She has one small Don't hurt tusk. Yourself. One from small tusk. Jaw. Yeah, from a lower jaw on the right side. Hmm. And she ha and you cannot see you cannot see her hair, but you do see some kind of silver-like hair coming from her. And that's the print. Uh, but and as for her crown, that's something you can't see. That's the only thing you didn't see. <laughs> and you just you see her sitting in there, and she just looks out and she does a little wave sometimes. And otherwise, and the caravan goes past, and then you hear the musicians playing uh, playing uh, some music. 
And it does sound like this, and I can't really describe how it sa says, but let's just go with your typical royal arrival music. Think like the... I'm not going to play that song because very copyrighted, which is the, you know, the f when the the music, when the when the king arrives in Robin Hood, that kind of music. Ooh. The king or Prince John? Prince John. Yeah. The okay. Prince, that kind of music is playing. Mm -hmm. So, so they all go past you and you can hear people cheering like, yeah, royals. It's like... And you can see, and you hear all kinds of yells. So going, yeah, Lagana. And it's like finally something else going on that isn't isn't sh stupid shit, and several <laughs> other things. And you can see the guards going, hey, relax. And with that, oh, to see. <laughs> and then the caravan goes past you. And then heads towards the, and then heads toward past the the square. Toward towards uh, Eardos descend. All right, you've seen that. That what do you do? Hmm. I'm checking, my, checking my phone. Has anything to say? Any sneaky messages? Nope, no sneaky messages. <laughs> Anyone? Anything? I'm considering. I'm not sure if I should. Hmm. Do it. <laughs> you joining me? Who are sure. you going to rob? <laughs> what do you want no, to do? I'm just. I'm just gonna follow. Bye. Uh, oh. I'm uh, joining. Following too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm joining too. Do we need to roll stealth or something? Are you sneaking or Ozzyus? What are you doing? How late is it? What do you mean? Oh, well, is it around one p.m. or no, not yet. Then it... I'm going to the inn. So it's around. It, it's clearly pretty much around nine a.m. at the moment. Yeah, I'll just head back to the inn. So I'll just head back to the end. The other three follow the caravan. <laughs> do you do it stealthily because or not? I'm just gonna approach from a distance and watch. Okay. There's also yeah, several so. guards and uh, people following the caravan because it's royal. So even if you're sneaking, you probably bump into someone in no time. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with that, you follow it. Bordak, have you figured something out yet? What the hell? Why are there so many routes to crafting magical items? Because magical <laughs> items are really strong. You mostly obtain them from dungeons. Okay. So I making. Also search for, I also search for silver items, but. Yeah, that's. Silvered items. Yeah, silvered items. That you can also silvered items. You can also make items out of uh, silver. You cut out again. There are silvered items, which give you bonuses on certain weapons, and there are silver items. Yeah, but I can't find any silver items. Don't worry, I'll. I've. I'm already making. I've already checked some things, and I think I'm gonna. And I have already homebrewed something real quick. Okay, thank you. Oh, I also have a system <laughs> for it. Oh, Moon, I want to hear your system then. I'll send it later. Okay. Send it to Jeremy. We'll just use that yeah. system. No, it's it's judge it first. Okay. Never tested it. Ah. Uh, we'll see then. But yeah, um, for that real quick, you pretty much learn about that how much materials you need for certain things. At best, with the bronze junk, you can make a bronze dagger or some bronze arrows. That's it. And with the silver you have, you can make silver arrows, you can silver your axes, you cannot silver your warhammer, you don't have enough. And... Kitty? Yeah. <laughs> and... Actually. And you can make some silver gauntlets. What are the properties? 
of silver gauntlets. It's homebrew. It's it it doesn't actually exist in the actual D and D lore, but it's just some. You can wear gauntlets, and they could give you something. But in this case, the silver gauntlets will have will allow you. In this case, will give you just one AC, and anything you and anything you unholy will touch will get some uh, will get the burn damage. So if you think if you touch someone with a vampire with it or a werewolf, they will take burn damage. And the silver axe is just do the same. It's, it it just gives you silver bonus to your weapons. And since you're reforging it, it becomes plus one. I'm take I'm I think I'm gonna take the gauntlets. Oh right, you're gonna, you're learning how to make silver gauntlets. Do note if you're making this, it will take at least a full day of forging. One day of not seeing the Prince of Lagana. That means you're out for the rest of the session if the, if, if the day continues. Just that's the warning I'm giving you. And I'm being generous here. Because normally it says it would take something like three days. It's been two hours already. Yeah. It, if, I not, if I don't do it now, I have to do it the next time. And then the next time I will be completely gone. So... There could be a time that we have to wait a couple of days. Yep. Story wise. Sure. You could all let's say maybe after you wait a few days, story wise, or maybe you go somewhere else and then you have to wait a few days because you have to resupply maybe or whatever. You're gonna be there yeah. for a few days. That's what I'm saying. Remember, you're in uh, no rush. You can yeah. also stay so that's what I'm saying. You know what? Um telling Durvin that uh I'll keep thinking about what I want to make with my silver, and I have to return to my group anyway. So I'll come back in a few days, probably. Okay. Uh, Dorf and Nice, take your time, buddy. You're always welcome here, if you have the money. You. Of course. <laughs> That's typical Dwarven talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, you leave. And uh, that's that. Um, Ozzy's, you go back to the inn. Nothing else. Yep. Okay. Ozzy's returns to the inn, and the inn is pretty much bare. And even and the innkeeper even has a sign like, "Out for a moment." These pro they probably went to watch the uh, princess. But hey, at least you're sitting nicely in the inn, and there's not and there's nothing bad going on. I'll just pour myself a beer, neatly pay, mm -hmm. and sit down. And the rest, you follow all the way to the to the mayor's house. And the mayor's house is not the office, by the way. So you know, the mayor's off the mayor's house is in, also in Erdo's descent, and it's over in yeah. This is where the mayor's house is. Oh, you also tip. <laughs> yeah, the service was amazing. Okay. So you all follow in there, and you go, and you and you know, and the carriage eventually stops, and the guards make sure to keep a distance, and then the mayor. Oh, Ozzy, you're not there. You're over here. Or like you're over here at the moment. Sorry. I'm moving everyone around when I'm not supposed to move. Moving, moving, moving. Anyhow. And the, the carriage comes to a stop. The, the guards make sure to keep your distance. And ah, Red Panda, be right back, screen. Okay, that works. <laughs> and anyhow, get back. The mayor, of course, is at the door, and he's like tidying it, his jacket. And you see the sun next to him, and he's. Uh, also wearing some blue silk clothing, but um, he's, his hair seems a little bit messy as he keeps trying to tie it up, but it keeps bringing back up. And yes, he has hair. Mirafo can have hair. In the, and you see that the father like looking at his son like, what? Get your hair straight. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm crying. 
And and then the courier jumps down. <clears throat> he walks up to the door and he goes, Introducing the Princess of Lagana. The one, the only, Marianne Lagana. The... <laughs> yeah, I'll just mm -hmm. hold it there. I'm not gonna say all the kings and queens' names, like, daughter of this, things that. No, you're gonna find it out later. <laughs> <laughs> also, it gives me time to stop hitting the random generator. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you see the princess step out in this white dress that comes, comes uh, down to her ankles, and you see below her dress two. Steel, steel iron boots with heels on them, which looks very odd to look at. And even her hands have silver-like gauntlets, but they look very, how would I say, demonic in nature with the with the skull imprints on the on the what do you call this? The back of the hand. It and is her, the back of the hand, yeah. Yeah, that's called the back of the hand. And the and the. She doesn't wear a crown, she's wearing, indeed, a head ornament, which is a circlet with a red gem on it. Mm -hmm. Fancy as always. Mm -hmm. Royalty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she steps out and walks off to the sun. Hmm. Well... First time meeting you, fish boy. It was not you were not expecting that answer from the princess <laughs> and the, the son speaks up well you did travel far and I guess uh, and he goes like son come on courage <laughs> okay uh, pleasure to meet you princess the princess quirks her eyebrow for a moment and goes uh, not very shy isn't he and the, and the mayor goes back like, well, he is a kind of an indoor person. The princess just smiles. <laughs> well, it's better than all those people trying to compete in strength to win my heart. So, fine. I will tolerate this diplomatic exchange for now. And she heads inside. <laughs> and the mayor, go the mayor goes, and takes his takes his and goes inside. And the sun looks like, just blinks for a few moments and looks around at everyone. And then slowly heads inside as well. And the and the and the person riding the carriage gets back on and makes the carriage go off in the, somewhere to a stable. Well, and the guards and the guards go like, okay, move along, move along. And uh, from there, you now have free reign to do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. So, what do you guys feel like doing? Mm. Do you guys want to go to that swamp town? Is it nearby? Let me check the map. The ranch is between. I'm loading the map, but I'm not loading in the map. The map, I'm just loading in the map. You see? Well, you know what? I'm just gonna put you on the world map real quick, so you can uh, estimate how long it takes. Yeah, we're not gonna make that in a couple of hours, probably. I'm gonna put the world map in general in the Discord. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I will say, in the estimate met, it will take about two days of journey to get to the nameless village because the bog in the forest is tedious to go through. You have to first go through a bit of forest and then go through the bog to get to the nameless village. Wait, so that's the village of the swamps? The nameless village? Yeah, the nameless village. That's the where the herb is from, oh, okay. apparently. Okay, no, no. Then mm. let's first finish stuff in Reefton and then I'll propose to go there. Yeah, I don't want to face Rack yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
How about we head um, back to the inn and meet up with the others? Well, Sam, do you remember our last performance in a square? We could do that again. There are so many people. Oh, dear. So can really earn no a lot of money. Yeah, that oh, sounds like an awesome plan. Right? Oh, There's so many people. So much money. Uh oh. Yeah. We need to do something even bigger than last time. I'm going to get to the end to get Ozzy. Let me check my inventory. <laughs> I just like how Moon is there. like, oh, this is going to go bad. <laughs> and the cleric's not there. <laughs> yeah. Always have you here, stand by for some dangerous tricks. The, the, the tank is not there either. <gasps> I have an idea. Tank Sam! Tell well, me. they don't need a tank because so, they're going to kill themselves. I have True. a torch, right? But the tank is always nice. In my you have what? Not as nice as a healer, torch. A torch, oh, no. yeah. Yes. If you hold up the torch, I will use firebolt to light it. <laughs> sure. Yeah. That, that can't go wrong at all. All right. Are you heading <laughs> towards the square to do this? Yes. Yes, there's so many people there, so well, they're gonna give us a lot of money. Okay, well, I have a torch as well, so you could uh, split your fireball and light two at the same time. Oh, that's a really good one. I am going to speed up right now to the end and get Ozzy on this. Okay, Sam, let's go to the <laughs> square. Okay, come on, Alona, let's do this. Four deck. Oh, I know, so we could make it even. Four deck. Roll. We could, we could make it even bigger, and I could. Juggle the torches, what should I roll? and then you like Investigation, it. please. Ooh. Investigation. <laughs> and there's so many <laughs> people left from the princess viewing. Perfect. Okay, you yeah. you do you do you come across the girls, and you know what they're go they're gonna do something uh, odd. Well, at least. <laughs> so you know, but oh, they're gonna do something at the at the square. Well, I'm gonna wait for you at the square. <laughs> well, you're joining at the square. You wanna see what are, uh, are you announcing us? You can do it if you want. Wait, hang on. Did they no. get all this yet? You can do it better. Sorry, what? Did you get all this yet? Um, I'm gonna roll I for don't... that. I'm gonna roll for that now. Uh, Veronica! <laughs> roll a yeah. roll a dexterity check for me because you're rushing. Uh, dexterity. Uh, da, 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 da. just a normal dexterity, right? Yes. Okay, so. It's... Mm -hmm. Oh, so kitty. I know. She just came in. <laughs> okay, I just rolled. Fifteen. Um, let me think. Yeah, okay. You do find Ozzy's in fast enough time, but you will not be at the start of the performance. That I wasn't expecting, but I'm gonna get him anyway. Mhm. Mm so, Veronica, event dash into the end and go, and it's a little bit out of breath, like. Oh, Just and so you know, I'm gonna watch a bit from. A okay. bit from the yeah. side of the place because I don't want to be associated with any of this. <laughs> and Oz and uh, you find Ozzyus and uh, well, go ahead. What do you say to Ozzyus? Ozzy, we have a problem. You know what Sam and Ilona pulled the last time they were at the square? Yes. <laughs> well, they're going to use torches and flame for. Fire spells now. I down my drink and I get off. <laughs> and I rush towards the square. <laughs> <laughs> I rush towards the square. Um, I follow the right behind. I love you, the asshole. So the two everyone's like so stupid are they? We're gonna help. I just, I, <laughs> okay, I, just I announce I us to the crowd from goals. Peoples. We have a big show for you today in honor oh. of the princess and everyone present. <laughs> I want you to roll a performance check real quick. Yes. To see how much okay, crowd you're gonna draw. 
I'm so glad I've got spared oh, a dying ready. <laughs> what? Who's going to die? Performance Hang check. On. Safety first. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button. Relax. Performance. Where are you? Yes, there we are. My safety helmet. I don't want to be hit by any fireballs. <laughs> Is that a two? No! Damn it. Okay, so... Nothing. So that I try... <laughs> I told you you should do it. Well, I can take okay. over... Okay, performance. <laughs> Four. People, you don't really get that much of a crowd going. They're just looking at you like, huh? Uh. Okay. I take over. People! Can I get your attention? I am a great mage who can do fire. And we will do the most amazing trick for you guys. Hmm. Roll performance. Got a tender box. No, oh, no, 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 It's gonna get bigger than that. Oh! <laughs> Natural 20! When people hear you speak up with your smoothing elven voice and your leg legacy in dragonhood they all look at you and go like oh this one this one is entertaining and you start getting a bit of a crowd at least 40 people are coming over and more to join slowly but surely to see why everyone is starting to crowd up you cut out Fucking Discord! Yep. Pretty much 40 <laughs> people start coming around and more people slowly start approaching as well because they're wondering why so many people are gonna watch. Uh, question. I want to he go to the anyone there who could potentially have quite some money with them. You wanna see if there are any noblemen around? Pretty much, yeah. Mm. Roll investigation. Bad affair. Nine. You think you see some sort of nobleman in the crowd, but you aren't sure. Well, I'll approach him and tap him on the shoulder. Hmm. The person turns around. Yeah. One gold is gonna go horribly wrong. You in? <laughs> no, but looks looks at this as like. You know what? Deal. Sorry, I don't have confidence in any of you, but. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah, right. He's betting against <laughs> you. I know. <laughs> okay, Il Ilona, we have something to prove now. Come on. Okay. Uh, let's see if it goes better for you this time. As. You are setting up uh, your. We didn't kill anyone. We didn't even blow anything up last time. Okay, so screw As you. Ass. You are setting up your little trick. Ozzy's and Veronica find themselves on the square. Oh, they are in time for the performance. Yeah, it's they're good time. because then they can see us do this amazing trick. Do Do I see a uh, Thordek? Yes, that looks like Fordak, and... No, he's asking me if you can see him. Ah. Um, Perception check. If you can find the dwarf <laughs> in the crowd. <laughs> Disadvantage, because I'm... I'm not that... I'm not that tall. <laughs> but he know he has seen you a lot, so he knows how you look like. True. Uh, Yeah, you see him just fine. Okay, I'm going to rush up to him and say, Okay. Five gold? This is going to be horrible. Five gold? You guys are horrible! Audius, you could bet with this fine man right here, because I already betted against them as well. Okay. Um, I don't know who you are. Five gold is going to be horrible. <laughs> I don't know who you are. And if it just goes normally wrong, I win? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> it's a bet. Ozzy is just not good at estimations. <laughs> didn't say that to me, so um, 
for my bet is either it goes wrong or it doesn't. So. Yeah, but wait, he, that was an option. Yeah, he just said <laughs> if it goes right. wrong for one gold, but if. But you say you specifically say like if something horribly goes wrong, and he uses your, the wording against you. It's like if it so if it just I, normally goes I, wrong, it's I win. I know, but Ozzy doesn't realize. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay, back to the performance. Ooh. Ladies I will and gentlemen, it is time torches. for the trick. Okay, and he's going to juggle it. I right. thought we weren't gonna do. It. Okay, fine. I. Can I, I even juggle? You said you could. No, I said we. it was a possibility that we could. Sounds like you're committed. You can You can also just can keep them up. Or you can You can juggle them, and then I will hit them in mid-air above you. That's up to you. How about we start with you actually lighting them, and when that works, then I juggle them. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, okay, so just get you on just, with it. Okay, you just hold them I up. hold the torches. Okay. You light them on okay. fire. Yeah, I stand a couple, like, 20 feet away from... Yes. ...from Sam. And I start get my firebolt going to hit the torches. Drum ruffle. And I <laughs> throw my firebolt right at him. The whole crowd at me at the torches, at the torches, at the torches. A firebolt? Firebolt or fireball? Fireball or fireball? That's really a big difference. They don't I have bolt. a fireball. I don't have fireball. Okay. Firebolt. Okay. okay. You cast firebolt onto the torches. Hmm. Okay then. Um. I'm gonna die. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Even yeah. though they're aiming at the torches, you're the one holding them. You need to roll a deck saving throw. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Saving throw decks. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. In your face. Not 20. Wait, no, no, 30, no. 20. No, not yeah. that. I just saw that. But it is a 20. It, it's 18. Plus 2, it's 20. Ha 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 Uh, you roll 20. You hold the torches out there, they get hit, and you avoid any damage taken. Right, like a boss. Man. I don't know. Yeah, does, does the firebolt stop there? Or does well, I miss being hurt. So. Yeah, about that. You are right. <laughs> firebolt does actually more than that. I will Google it exactly what the firebolt does. I believe oh, it's yeah. 60 feet. No. <laughs> but you said I didn't get hurt. Yeah, yeah you avoided. So, you hurl a mold of fire within a creature, make a ranged attack a spell, on the hit, the target takes 1 plus 3 damage, a flammable object hit by the spell is ignited, if not worn carried, this... Okay, no, it just hits the target, it doesn't continue on afterwards. Aww. What? Aww. But now we're going to jump Okay. One gold for me. But they didn't aim to hit, right? They aim yeah, to hit the torches. torches. But they're still... Yeah, but they didn't roll for that. Only to dodge the fire. You, yeah. it's. He it mm. does kind of have a point, but they're already lit now, so. Okay, one more moment. Well, I'm checking if if. It says right here, action can instantaneous. Why does it say? What does it say to do dodge? I only went with the thing. Ah! Uh, it's supposed to be dodge by Dex, right? Oh, yeah, it, it doesn't have it to hit. Okay, yeah, fair. Yeah, so I just went with a dexterity dodge so that Sam doesn't get hit by any of the embers. But torches do not have ways to dodge a fireball. <laughs> Unless I suddenly say so. Suddenly, this universe, torches can dodge things. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be a funny performance. Okay, so what's the reaction of the crowd? Uh, performance check. Yeah. Alona. Okay. Only Alona. Uh, Come on, Alona. Make me proud. Oh. Nice. Another, <laughs> a dirty 20. Right when we They're needed. very impressed. They clap and they go like, wow, that's some good magic. Good aim. Both torches perfectly lit. 
We are very happy with that. And they throw you some money and you get a total of 20 gold. However, oh. betters, you <laughs> lost. Wait, are they done? Are, are they, they done? Sam, oh, are they Sam, done? Yeah, Sam, are you Sam done? Gold, gold? No, we are done. We're just splitting the gold now. Ten, ten? They're done. Okay, Sam, you get ten. Here you go. I give it ten, ten to Sam. <laughs> they were very. If people were entertained, people were very entertained by something that simple. And people because of the they Prince of had Ghana. More. This was a really smart idea. <laughs> No, the next and time we'll go I'm, wrong. I'm, I'm discussing with Ilona from yeah, we could up it and up it more. We could do the juggling thing. What do you say, Ilona? Oh, are, you, are you sure? Hey, the crowd okay. loves it. That is true. Okay. What do you say? During it? Okay, so yeah. I juggled and you blow them out of the air. Yeah, sounds good. You keep juggling, okay. right? Because what am I saying? If, if you blow them out of the air, I can't juggle them anymore. So you've got two shots. Oh, but then they will hit the crowd. Hmm. Yeah, fair point. Or I light them and then you juggle them. No, but that's they're already lit. They're, they're lit. Oh, they already okay. are lit. Yeah. Well, you can. Yeah, no. Let's save it for a different performance. This was it. You can also yeah, put them let's... out and then relight yeah. them. That's what Ozzy says. Yeah, no, we're done. We're done, right? Let's just split <laughs> the twenty gold. We're losing money now. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Okay, that's oh, you're we're getting four. So Sam, we split the gold and, and we're done, right? You get less. Huh? Sorry. Oh, you already have money on the ground. It's already donated, so you can get more. Not yeah. less. You can get more. If you can die. Yeah, you could get less, which is fun. <laughs> no, Sam can die. Yeah. <laughs> Sam won't yeah, die, I've been spared of dying. Sam won't die so that we... easily, don't worry. But, but you can do another performance if you want. Would they be entertained nah. by an ominous whispering chair? <laughs> Are you really gonna do the ominous whispering chair? This is one problem with that. <laughs> oh wait, what? no, that's What's fine. You need for that. No, they can make it whisper, they can do it. Yep. Yeah, I can also create a sound illusion actually. Yeah. Yep. And the thing. No, maybe, maybe we should save that for a different performance and not freak That's out true. the royal guard. <laughs> Otherwise, could, we'll get arrested. You could make just an idea. Um, okay. You could make little performances that basically represent the adventures you went on. Like telling yeah! a little version. Oh, that's an idea but, for next time. Sam, yeah, exactly. Sam, let's just stick to this. This was his <laughs> major success. We were awesome. And you know, we'll guys, I'm starting to time. think you guys are just sore losers. <laughs> Very sore losers. I'm starting to <laughs> think you don't want to earn more money and also want to screw your party over. <laughs> Thank you, give me a high five. Get... But I don't think that we know that you are bidding, so... Yeah, we, we, we actually don't know that you're bidding. No, that's why you should probably continue. No, because no. we just get a high five because <laughs> you're awesome. <laughs> Oh my no. You basically performed for a half a minute at at most. So yeah, mm -hmm. look how much we earned with that. <laughs> it because you had good performance checks. Come on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. hang on. The crowd goes more, more. I was about to say that. <laughs> I'm just gonna make the crowd Stand say more. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Money, Hello now. So yeah. Are we gonna do something? Yeah, maybe we should give them well, more. I mean, we, if you're asking we could, for um, it. Well, we could do an abridged version of our dragon meeting. Abridged. Yeah, that would be good. Abridged. 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 I can create this. The I can replicate the voice of the dragon. That would be really impressive, I think. And can you uh, create your your? Uh, fire spell into a dragon and that make it fly across the crowd. I'm not sure fire about bolt. that. You can't move it. You can't. It's a fire uh, it's a fire uh, bolt. I can okay. create, and I can only create a minor illusion of five feet, so I can create a really small dragon. <laughs> no one's and make that uh, we could one have fly. it chase me around or something. No. No. 
Oh. You can't move the illusion. No. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's true. Hmm. I believe that's major. Well, illusion. we can always tell the crowd from more tomorrow because we really can't think of something right now. Except we don't say that part. Stay oh. tuned for more adventures of Sam and Alona. <laughs> Maybe we should have an artist like not name for ourselves. Sam yeah, well, let's Luna. think of that tomorrow. Samona. <laughs> Simona, yes, yeah, Simona, I like that one. Instead. I should have Either Sam. Tell Sam. Okay, so we're actually not going to do another performance, so we can have a brainstorm about our new name. Yes, <laughs> let's do that because this is going nowhere. <laughs> yes. And we still have your party on the bus. Like... <laughs> we don't know you're betting, so we can't take that into account. I, I'll just and we don't know what we have to more, do, so we're more, just leaving more. before we have. Juggle! Okay. I'll just start shouting with the crowd. More, 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 <laughs> more, more, more. I'm going to I use need a volunteer from the crowd. Uh... Oh, oh like, go okay. ahead. No, no, no. no. Boom, like what are you going to do? Uh, yeah. I'm going to use thermothergy so my voice booms three times as loud as normal and I just shout, Boom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, oh my goodness. Tell me, how much louder and is anyone's eardrum going to split right next to you? <laughs> three times as loud. Yeah, um, you do know how audio in... <sighs> okay, fine. I'll just let it, I'm not even going to look for consequences in this one. Because <laughs> it's hilarious. Do it. So you hear the crowd going okay. more, and you hear someone go someone that sounds vaguely familiar going really loudly, MORE! MORE! <laughs> okay, maybe Elena, we can do, do you something want to disperse with the, the crowd rope. and tell... What? Maybe we can use the rope. What? Oh, what if you take one torch, just one though, and then yeah. tie it onto the rope, and then lasso it, and then I'm gonna hit the torch that lassoed on the rope. Well, can we do do then a very uh, oh busy God. end? That tie. Sounds awesome. We have two ends of the rope, so we can tie a torch to both ends of the rope, and I can swing both of them, and then you can hit them. That actually sounds better, yeah, that we even have like two on. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yes, let's do this. Okay, okay, so we extinguish the torches mm -hmm. and we tie them up to the rope. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the big finale. Oh dear. <laughs> this is gonna go horribly wrong. <laughs> That's the sound I like to hear. <laughs> okay. okay. So, I mean, I mean so... you, you already have 20 gold, so that saves. True. 10. True. Oh. No, 10, ten each. each. 10 each. 20. Okay, so okay. I start swinging the rope with the extinguished torches. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, I want you to roll an acrobatics check for that. Awesome. This is good. Acrobatics. Athletics or acrobatics? Acrobatics. Do I have that? That's at the top of the list. Yeah. Ah, yes. I do have that. Ah, could be better. 12. You keep at least the spin stay of 10 total. Ooh, um, you spin around, it is pretty sloppy, but it's spinning <laughs> and uh, you clearly are not meant to be a cowboy. Let's just go with that. It's presentable. I'm from Texas. There is. Okay. Okay, Ilona, hurry up! I can't keep this up all day. Okay, here it goes. Fireballs, go! Okay, <laughs> normally this would be... I, I'm gonna do a little bit of homebrew here because you're hitting a constantly moving target. Mm -hmm. Ilona! Yeah. I need you to make an wisdom check for me. To see... Oh dear. I hope you've got some brains in your head. <laughs> It doesn't sound like she does. Yeah. Eleven. Ah! 
That's a very mean number. Yeah, okay. For you, because you're not gonna lose. <laughs> it's not gonna go horribly wrong. Okay. I'm fine with that. I don't know yet. Ozius? Tordak? <laughs> the bolts. You see them. You see them flying out of her fingers. And the first bolt. And the bolt flies towards the. The, the sloppily spinning uh, lasso. And. Misses the target and flies off into the air. And then oh. in the air, <laughs> nothing bad I happened, but gold. they failed. Well, that'll be one gold for me. Um, try one okay. more time. <laughs> oh, we've got to keep them uh, on the edge of their seats, of course. Donna, exactly. acrobatics check again with disadvantage <laughs> because it's getting tiring. <laughs> How do I do disadvantage? Just right, roll the roll same. Twice. D t t roll twice. The lowest roll is what your result is. Okay. Acrobatics twice. So it's going to be six or lower. It's going to be six. Six. Help. You, you're, you keep spinning, but you're like... Come on, oh, I miss. Oh. And the spinning is very sloppily, and slowly and surely, those torches are gonna go down any second now. Okay, quickly, I'm gonna go to Fireball. Wisdom check! Again. 18! Oh. oh! Yeah, but the. I have to be honest, because of how the rope is going, the the, the clear rate has gone up. And 18. Yeah, it's enough. <laughs> it's barely enough. I was putting it purposely high because of how Donna's getting tired and how risky you're taking it. But the bolt hits, uh, hits one of the torches only and lights it. And after that, Donna's rope swinging goes down and... Pfft, and the torch is on the ground. You hit it while spinning, but it wasn't very impressive. I'm going to use Thaumaturgy to make the uh, flame brighten, then change color afterwards. Oh? After Ooh. six seconds. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. It's just Thaumaturgy, it's just two times a spell. Okay, um, I want to do one more thing. Roll quick d20, just in general. Two. Uh-huh, just in general. Mm -hmm. yeah, Probably not in general. i roll d20 real quick. Real quick. Just to see what the flames are going to do. You have no control over this. Ha! <laughs> 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 It's good for him, it's good for him. Oh, it's so, not a good idea. Oh, so, you make the flame go oh. brighter, and at the same time, it expands a bit, and the rope catches fire! Huh, neat. Okay. And then I change the color. <laughs> what color? I'll make it purple. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay, just color. Just, it's not just a to, special effect. Just to emphasize, this is not our fault for things going horribly wrong. That's your fault. You don't know. Well, you can't. You don't know if Ozzy did that. That too. So, um, your rope is on fire. What do you do? I laugh. You laugh. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you should probably let that go! I'm still holding the rope? Yes, you're still holding the rope, dummy! Okay, I let go of the rope. <laughs> okay, well, you okay. still have, have a torch and a burning rope and... and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking if I have a water I have, flask. I have, uh, question. But, yeah. I, I just know. come over, I grab a fr water flask and empty it. Can I roll for I was... if I know that uh, Ozzy did that? 
Mm, I'm not going to say perception for this one. In this case, I'm going to do investigation. You know I have minus one of that. <laughs> yeah. I think that's why he does it. What? Nope. <laughs> no, I don't notice it. Bordak too stupid. <laughs> Moon, you can give me the edit roll. <laughs> It wasn't a critical one that would have given you a migraine! Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Here's the thing about critical ones. Critical ones, I mean, I mean, critical fails, as it called, or, or net ones. Net ones pretty much means I can do anything bad to you at that point, even on the oh. stupidest thing. In this case, I would have given you a migraine. You won't take you damage, away. but you will have a disadvantage on your next roll then. But you don't, it's a, it's a dirty one, so you're fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Dirty one. So, uh, it's a dirty one. Anyhow, uh, you let go of the flow. Ilona, what do you do? There's still a rope on fire and a torch. I just no, said uh, I walked Veronica. I, okay, Veronica I walked, walked over. over I walked over my water flask and extinguished the fire. Yeah. Huh. Okay, the fire is easily extinguished. The fire has not spread that far in the rope yet. And everyone's looking like, well, that was funny. <laughs> and they still throw some money, but it's only like uh, four Gs this time. Well, we'll take it and we're uh, leaving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be smart, yes. The nobleman looks at you two and says like, well, fair is fair. Poor deck. You get one gold. Ozius, did you think that would went horribly wrong? Oh, that went way worse than I thought. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. And he ends you, know you what? I'll... You know what? That, that... Hmm. We'll leave it at this. Wait. This was more fun. <laughs> oh. All right, then. It's a tie. Yes. Okay. I have a bet another time. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. And the crowd slice are dispersing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and By the way, Sam, Alona? Yes? The boys were betting on things going horribly wrong. Wait, did she notice that? Were they? Did yes, she, that she was nearby you. Dang it. <laughs> she, she came with obvious. What can I say? I'm a gambler. Uh huh. And I just <laughs> went off my experience from last time. Well, he did. Well, Fortnite oh, did get one gold. Yeah. Well, nobody died or anything. No, but oh, they have very little faith in your abilities, it sounds like. I wouldn't well, have at least you we die. got some money. Look, it's not like I would let you <laughs> die. Guys, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes we can. Yeah, yeah, we hear you. I'll oh, hear you. Okay. Yeah, my microphone cut off. Um uh, Sam, do you want to give Veronica so we got four for that last gold right. Four gold for the last performance? Yeah. yeah. Two. Mm -hmm. You want to give Veronica two gold from that because she helped us extinguish the fires? Yeah, and she also told us that the boys were betting against us, so yeah, why not? The boys get nothing, they get to buy our drinks. Right, so <laughs> Veronica... I'm not buying your drink. <laughs> get, I give you two gold, and then Sam here, you have one gold from that last performance. And I also have one. Alright, cool. Yay. <laughs> Honestly, I was thinking about our honorary fighter weapon or something so, because of magic, but now I think like <laughs> maybe not. What? He was gonna give you something silver. I, don't know, <laughs> I, I just mentioned that out of character. Mm -hmm. So what? What do you want to actually say that? Okay. It it was out of character. Okay. So you. The entertainment slowly dies off, and people go back to their normal uh, behaviors. 
And with that, it's still not 1 p.m. There's still a few hours left. So, um, yeah, think of what you want to do. Huh? Why do we, do we still have a few hours left? What do you mean by that? It means it's it's now around 11 p.m. Oh, okay. Okay. So we can get a reward at 1 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All oh, right. So you still have a few hours to burn. Because the performance didn't take that long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was uh, <laughs> short-lived. <laughs> but awesome, though. You can also just wait somewhere and then go to the barracks. Remember, you don't oh, have to do anything during these hours. Hello. What? Well, Hello. I'm. I still do have my book, so I'm gonna read. My okay. Bordek? You, you wanna go to prison. Sam! <laughs> Bordek! No, we can always Sam! Do we know where the prison is? No, he never asked. Take, ah. Take us to yeah, prison. Yeah, I guess, I'll, guess yeah. we're gonna ask Bulbrick later about that. Alright, you have something to I'm do. I'm gonna go... Well, yeah. I'm gonna go back to the inn and I'm gonna read my book. Because I have to return it someday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so, gonna look for a I shop have... because I have some shopping to do, and I also need shopping! to refill my water flask. Oh, I'm joining you yeah, because I also emptied again. my water skin. Yeah, um, Ilona. Yeah. Could you maybe show me on the map where? What? You get cut off. Where you get what? cut off. Oh. Um. Hang on. Wait. Show well, you on the map on. where, and that's where you get cut cut off. Where on the yeah, map? Um, I have I don't know the English word right word right now. Hang on. Uh, could you maybe show me where the town hall is? Oh, you mean the mayor's office? Yeah, town hall. Yeah, mayor's office. Mayor's office, town hall. Yes, it's there. Oh, am I doing that? No. That's me. Oh yeah, I okay. also. Knew. I'm showing you. I kind of want to check on oh, Dungaree. Dungaree and see uh, how it goes with her. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. Hmm. All right. I guess. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go shopping. Bye. I'm joining you with my water skin. Okay. Have fun. I'll go have a look. Okay, so the party splits off again. Ozzy, what are you doing actually? You haven't said anything. Nothing in particular. You're just gonna meander around and uh, probably sing a hymn about your god? <laughs> your... Sure. <laughs> yeah. Typical cleric things. I'll just write it down, I'll down as typical cleric things. <laughs> okay. Indeed. Now, Ozzy's doing cleric things. And I'm looking at the time, and we've almost been at it for three hours. Three hours? Jesus. Yeah, almost. Oh. No, I don't think Jesus got anything to do with this. <laughs> well, he's sitting behind the DM's chair, isn't he? No, that's Captain Hook. <laughs> Tick, tock, well, we had basically the goal of this whole campaign. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. True. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm gonna ask it should I call it here so we can see it tomorrow, um, next week, or do you wanna. No, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow, next Leave. week. I don't have a problem with, ke with keeping going. I do. I need to be somewhere tomorrow, so. <laughs> All right, I guess we we'll call it. Fair enough. Yes. So the next time well, we're but gonna get to reward. Yeah. <laughs> because All I know, right. I know that what pretty much the reward, the reward, I know that the reward thing's probably gonna take a little bit of a while. And while Fordex and the shopping might be a little bit shorter, I know by then we're already 15, 15 to twenty minutes further, and then we have to cut off even longer. If I don't know, Elona wants to do something like. I want to know what this this silk that looks very fancy looks like, and I'm going to keep asking questions and investigate everything. <laughs> this might happen, yeah. 
<laughs> so, I'd say with that, we'll just call it a quick, quick day. If you were in charge of joy, well, we're gonna do. It. If you were charge of joy, check out the. Tw oh, Twitter's already been uh, put up. Check out our YouTube. Check out our archive. And uh, check out my personal stuff. As the rest will stream some other day. I think Sunday is going to be... I think the next week, Brownie will not be streaming for various reasons. But I will still stream tomorrow. Unless I have to do something. We'll see. We'll see by then. Because I just got an assignment, but uh, it's not. It's a non-rush assignment. Either way... What are, what are you going to stream? I think mm. we're going to finish Bowser's Fury tomorrow. 100% it. Mm. Okay. Fun. Mm -hmm. So, with that said, it's goodbye from the dungeon master known as Codlaw, who has given you this beautiful world to experience. And it's goodbye from Fordek, the dwarf. Bye. It's goodbye from Ozias, the turtle. <laughs> yeah, that's difficult. It's goodbye from Sam the Warrior. Bye. It's goodbye from Elona the Sorcerer. Goodbye, everyone. And it's goodbye from Veronica. Hello. And with that. We are done, and I will see. We will see you next week with the campaign because there's still a lot to do, and uh, we'll see what the rewards are and if there's going to be any interrogation or maybe you might have to deal with a princess being snobby or not snobby or whatever. There's enough to do in Reefton still. <laughs> I will. I will not care at all. <laughs> I will end you. Uh, we will see you next time and good night. Unless it's not night, then have a pleasant whatever it is because the world is a huge thing. Uh. Bye.